Yes, yes. Gold. Yeah, I guess. Hello, you everybody. Something. Welcome to Out of the Cold. This is a DD campaign I'm playing with my friends, and these are my friends. Uh, intro dances for everybody. Always. Uh, and um, uh, yeah, uh, Niala, can you just roll me uh, uh, an, in an initiative, please? I rolled my initiative, and oh, it was five. Five. Okay. And yours, Arden, was. Four. Six. Six. Okay. So nice, nice and low, you guys. Lovely. Um, so uh, we'll just refresh uh, where we were. So you had ventured beneath the, um, uh, the into the sewers of uh, Kakanzax, and you were looking around, trying to earn yourself some gold and some uh, tokens to get through the gates of Kakanzax and get inside to move on to wherever you wish to go to maybe gain passage to Kareem for Arden um, uh, to maybe return home for Sin and um, the rest of you doing your thing um, maybe find some answers to Maruk's um, strange uh, flashbacks um, that no one knows about except me apart Ooh. from Maruk actually knows about <laughs> yeah. uh, and uh, upon that you had gone into the sewers and cleared several blockages and managed to not get covered in goop and poo uh however oh, most when not cleaning the goop and poo trying to just leap across the sewer edges there were some slips and trips and bumps and falls and um and then some showers uh underneath in the in the tunnels um offered by uh sin i believe was washing the, the people that were covered in gunk down uh and then you entered a certain chamber and there was a voice in all of your heads eventually um uh first of all just um in sin's head uh saying i'm waiting for them to come out the little holes coming out the hole i'm waiting i'm waiting for them to come out the hole and upon hearing this uh sin plopped down into the uh, sewage which is the only way round into the next section and saw above the water a tentacly thing poking out and then went in further and rising out of the water was a beast, uh, uh, an, an abomination of things, a great open moor. And that's where we're going to come into the game today. Okay, so Sin, you step down and take a step into the room, uh, into this next chamber beyond uh, the chamber you were in where you've left your friends and then rising out of the water, excrement and slime dripping from this uh, bulbous shape uh, and thick tree trunk like legs extending up and then three tentacles that stretch up and above its head one that seems to look and twitch and focus upon you and the other two flailing loosely around in a, a, an enraged state and this open mouth opens and roars at you and the stench of rot fills your your vision and you guys even outside of this little tunnel there is a there is a breath of hot fetid air that comes out filled with the stench and decay and, rot and just rotten things and detritus um and you are in initiative now um sin you are actually first in initiative if you see this creature rise out of the muck uh, what are you gonna do uh, that's a good question. I have no idea. Uh, I don't. Oh, should I wild shape into my bear for a bit of damage dealing? Or nah, yeah, I'm alone right now. No one is with. No one is with me, right? Everyone's like back at the entrance. You in on your own. Yeah, but we. Actually, oh, wait, I'm, you... tied around, I'm tied around rope, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you're tied, you've got a rope tied around your waist. I'm holding on to the other end. And we've all just heard a roar from the other room, I presume. Yes, you would have heard the bellow. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Type thing. Okay. So you are currently on your own. So, yeah, for sure, I'm going uh, to go ahead and launch shape into my bear. You know? Bonus action, you are now uh, a bear with rather fetching white eyebrows. Oh no, it's the wolf ah, that's got the eyebrows. No, the, the wolf is the 
Um, yeah. I, don't know. I, think, I think maybe we should carry it through all of your creatures. They've all now got <laughs> these kind of rather refined white eyebrows. Does that mean the bear now has a rope tied around its waist? Yes, um, but the oh, rope, that would be quite heavy. The the uh, the rope would actually probably uh, nah. snap because the because of the size change. Because uh, Sin is quite a slight creature, um, the rope wouldn't magically expand. So the rope may. Uh, um, I'm thinking it's going to snap probably. Uh, yeah, it snaps. Right. All right. So the rope goes slack in your hands, Arden. Um, okay. Uh, and, and then see. what I'm gonna do is roar back and do my multi attack. If I'm not, uh, yep, multi attack. And then, uh, that's uh, tough, tough, tough. What's the plus thing? So that's 25, no, 24 and 17. Uh, to, uh, to hit. hit, um, you 24 and 17, you hit and you hit. All right, nice. And that's, uh, I should really, like, remember these. Um, that's a D8 and two D6. All right. And that's, oh, that's 10, 11, 11 plus uh 14 no that's 15 19 points of damage 19 points of damage this thing rises up out of the water and you immediately uh turn it shape into a bear so you're nearly the same size as it and uh you is it bite and claw isn't it with the bear or moi um, uh, and uh you bite into it and you uh swipe at it with your claws it's sort of greenish brown flesh um, takes a mighty scar across it um, and you uh, and it reels back and uh, continues its pursuit. Uh, Rook, it is now your turn. You hear a uh, bellow from inside this uh, space uh, uh, behind like behind a wall that uh, you just got this little narrow gap. What do you do, Maruk? So I'm going to walk into the gap here uh, yeah, it's 15 feet. That's yeah. half of my movement. Um, I'm going to see this big, big ugly beastie. Mm -hmm. um, I would like to rage. Uh -huh. um, uh, and I'm going to take my new fancy axe in my hand. Yeah. And I'm going to lob it at this thing, aiming right for, for the eyes. Uh Um, you don't see traditional eyes <laughs> where, what? Where, you would, where you would assume eyes would be upon this creature. Oh, okay. I'm just going to aim for the head. Okay. Because you should always aim for the head. We learnt this from Avengers. Okay. I have a question uh, for the walls. So is it like a big barrier of walls? Like uh, me and Nandala and Arden can see a uh, sin? No, imagine that up from where um, to the northwest of the map, the, where Arden is, for example, all along that uh, the northwest square that he's standing on is a solid wall from ceiling to floor. Oh. So he can see, uh, he can see Sin, no? You can't see anything. You can only see Maruk now standing in a gap. You'd have to be down where he is to look through the space. Okay. Okay. Um, that so is... we have to go down. Yeah, everybody's got to kind of squeeze through this small gap. That is a 28 to hit. Uh, yes, you hit. Um, so, if I remember rightly, uh, if you hit with a range attack using something that does an extra 1d8, that's uh, 1d6, 3, 10, 1 8 so We still need to make constitution saves if we go in the water. It's only if you fall in the goop. Oh, so okay. um, if it sprays at you when you are unblocking it. Uh, okay. 17 slashing damage and okay. 4 radiant damage. 
and can you make me can you make me a constitution saving throw please okay uh, con save um Uh, what have I got to beat? What did you get? Uh, I'm just reading the thing. Do I get... DM versus DM. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, so uh, it, I got an eight. So... Um, wow. The creature is now petrified as icy magic encases their body. Okay, so is that restrained? The same as restrained? Uh, I think it, yeah, it's it, it, like flavour, it's kind of like frozen. Yeah, okay. Petrified, wow. Okay, cool. And it's got to make that save at the beginning of its turn or end of its turn? Um, they may repeat a save at the end of each of their turns, ending the, the condition on a success. Okay, I'm just going to check the condition of it and see what... Uh, Okay, go on. Uh, yeah, so now we are at Nan Daniela. Okay. Um, so I is Rook kind of blocking the whole of the sort of passage. Uh, Rook is pretty much in the way. Yeah. So you might be able to squeeze by because you're. Well, I don't necessarily want to squeeze by. I just kind of maybe want to try and find a position. See the using that kind of it. Um, is a wall breakable? Uh, it's solid stone blocks. So it's going to be quite hard to break through. Definitely um, not by Naniella, but um, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm wondering if I can find a position where I get a good shot. So sort of, Maybe. Well, I'm muting you, Celia. Crisp is so loud. <laughs> <laughs> I'm jealous of them. I want crisps. Um, um, yeah, you, you could you could try and move back into the room. Um, you have advantage on the creature because it's petrified, um, uh, but you'd have disadvantage because you're shooting past Rook in a narrow space. So it'd be a regular roll. So but I think that's... I've got my feet is sharpshooter. Do, 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 taking it long way. So yeah. Three yeah, so I ignore any cover. cover. Uh, well, I ignore half cover and three quarters cover. Okay, so you'd still get it as advantage then. Yeah, you'd be able to you'd be able to shoot with advantage because it's you'd ignore the cover that Rook would be providing, um, and then you'd uh, get the advantage of it being petrified in a non-moving object. Okay, I'm gonna show uh, all of our discussion just for such a great feed. I'm gonna show it. Um, let me just get my a fancy new bow, uh, because I don't think I added it on. I haven't actually added it. Crafted it. Well, no worries. It takes a little while to do those things. They're a bit fiddly. Well, um, uh, Sin very helpfully sent me like a full tutorial breakdown, and I only just remembered. Oh, crap! I haven't done that. Um, okay, so. Well, I think it doesn't. Right, I think this will still work. I think that I've done it right here. I just need to make sure that I. Right, let's just see if I hit first. Sixteen. Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, so I do one. So new bow is one d eight plus two piercing, mm -hmm. but I don't know because I had a different plus on my old longbow i wonder if that old plus is no longer relevant it's just this plus two uh you get the plus two to yeah your, your damage yeah plus you'd normally get your normal plus which i believe right. is your dex sex modifier yeah your okay cool modifier. so i have done it right on dnd beyond this janky version that i did before sin gave me a better version of crafting it so this you, you get your dex modifier which is just your normal thing for firing a regular weapon then you get what Perfect. the magic item going to which is your plus two okay cool 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 so this is correct if i roll this then that should be how much i hit it's not great seven seven um <laughs> uh, the 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 arrow shoots towards the creature and uh 
hits the kind of frozen creature sticking inside it. Um, but you think, as you look, that the the frozen shell of this creature has actually protected it as well. So the petrification. Yeah. Okay. Well. Hunter's mark. I propose, since <laughs> it's uh, frozen, uh, uh, we just jump on it and we use as the ladder behind. <laughs> You've got whatever you want to do. It is its turn. What's the DC, uh, George? Oh, sorry. I'm just going to okay. Hunter's mark. Okay. Hunter's mark it as your bonus action. Oh, why did I press that? I'm sorry, I pressed a button. <laughs> Randomly rolling dots. I'm just hearing. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. I pressed, I pressed fast. The DC is 13. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, the outer, so it can't move until the end. Is it the end of its turn, did you say, George? For that, for your spell? Um, yeah. For your, your effect. So the, um, the casing on this creature sloughs away the arrow drops to the floor and it roars and bellows again um it is now arden's turn you have a slack rope in one hand okay um noticing that everybody around me has decided to go ham um i shall do so as well and i will uh jump in and uh or climb in carefully and try and squeeze past rook mm -hmm. i will run up to the side of the creature or try to run around the to flank kind of the other side of it yeah. i don't know whether we're doing flanking rules or not but you can flank yeah sweet i will flank it then just, just check your measurement on it though for your movement please because you're going to move um, a bit slower past rook so one two three four five i've got 50 feet of movement so oh yeah you're fine yeah i'll keep forgetting even if it's there, so. yeah go for it is this is this count as uh, difficult terrain or not uh not not in uh where you are um actually where you where you've walked to um the water is deeper but you you'd still get into it but you're up to your i'd, I'd still yeah, i'd still have yeah, enough you're, movement you're, you're up to your, you're up to near, nearly in your waist in this to you lower your chest your arms are out your arms are free but your movement is restricted okay that's i can deal with that that's fine i don't plan on going yeah, anywhere walk into that space there is floor beneath you um that's where you think this creature might have been crouching in this uh, hollow. Cool. Right. So for starters, what I will do is bonus action, hit it with the Akron blade. So that is a dirty 20 to hit. Use. So this is going to be a uh, disheartening strike. So it has disadvantage now on the next... Um, so that's, uh, because this is a bonus action, I don't get my modifier, I believe that's how no, two hand yeah, weapon fighting it. works. You just get your, you get your standard damage roll. Yeah, so that's five damage. Okay. But it has any, the next saving throw it uh, has to take, it rolls at disadvantage. Okay. And then with my main attack, just double checking that that's correct. When you hit a creature with an attack using this weapon, you can fill the target with an unsettling throw. The target has disadvantage on the next saving throw it makes before the end of your next turn. The creature ignores this effect if it is immune to the frightened condition. Uh, is it immune to frightening? It is frightened? immune to frightened. Good. Okay, so in that case, in my other hand, I'm going to have the Spritewood Warrior's Blade. And I am going to... Um, Take a big old slice of sunlight at it. Yeah. Um, so it needs to make a constitution saving throw for me, please. Uh, 26. Mother, yeah. Well, uh, that's a disadvantage. A disadvantage because it's a saving throw. Oh, I lost my dice. Hold on. Uh... It gets a nine. That's a fail. Um, so it takes 2d6 of radiant damage. Um, ba, 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 I believe. On a failed save, the creature takes 2d6 plus 2 radiant damage. Okay, so I'm going to roll 2d6s. Ooh. 
Oh, those that's a six and a five. So that's eleven. That's thirteen radiant damage in total. Thirteen. Yeah. And yeah, that will be my my um. Turn. Yeah, so is that effect my, now? It's turn. only its next saving throw. Is that correct? Yeah, it's only on the one saving throw. It's only okay. on its okay. next uh, one. So Miano. that's done now. Miano, it's your turn. My turn. So I am going to pick um, somewhere here. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to pick here to cast a spell on the creature. Mm -hmm. And which one is it? Toll the dead. Yes. Is, it wisdom? is that wisdom or con? I can remember. Uh, wisdom. Okay. Wisdom save. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, 18? Yeah, pass. So what I'm going to do as a bonus action, let me see. Um, I am going to use my telekinetic uh, shove. And uh, uh, I am going to attract it to me. Okay, I'm going to try and... By, uh, it's by five feet, so you have to do me a strange uh, saving throw. Okay. Um, Sixteen. Pass two. Okay, so you um, focus your magics on the creature uh, and attempt to uh, toll its death and then try to pull it towards you and it just holds firm. It, the magical energy surround it and it doesn't move an inch in this sludge. Uh, we're back up to the top, Sin. We're ready for you to do some stuff. Uh, okay. Uh, no. Yeah. The only thing I can really do is just do my multi attack as a bear. I just feel tonight our DM is going to be lucky. All right. I'm just doing my multi attack. Yeah. That's uh, 14 and 16. Uh, 14, 16 both hit. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Nice. And then that's a whoop. Uh oh. Lost the dice. Give me a minute. It's okay. All right. And that's four, seven, seven, seven. That's 11. 15 points of damage. 15. Lovely. Yeah. And do I, and, no, that's, no, yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. So how much damage was it, sorry, Sin? 14 or 15? 14, yeah. 15, you said, yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, okay, cool, got it. Uh, yeah, so uh, now we're at Rook. So I'm going to leave the axe embedded in this thing. I'm going to take out my Warhammer, mm -hmm. and I'm going to come down to here. Cool. And I'm going to recklessly attack at this thing with the Warhammer. So that is a 17 to hit. You're there. Um, where are my D10? There's my D10. That's not great. One, eight. Uh, that is eight. That is bludgeoning damage. Yeah, eight bludgeoning damage. Plus three radiant damage. Okay. Uh, 
uh, this creature bellows as you uh, you you slam it with the warhammer. Its tentacles flailing everywhere. Uh, Nan, it's your uh, your go to see if you can defeat this foul ab aberration. Okay, a shoot. <laughs> Okay, there's not a lot else I can do. I'll Let's see the creature. <laughs> yeah. Like a dog lapel. Oh, yeah. lapel. Uh, uh, is that to hit 12? Mm. No. Okay. Okay, uh, arrow streaks past. Um, it is now the creature's go. It has um, sin in front of it. Um, it goes to... Uh, at sin, first of all, with its bite. Don't you need to make the save because it's still petrified, because my axe is still bedded in its head? No, it made the save. Did it? Made the save at the end of its first turn, yeah. Oh, I thought it failed it. No, it made the t it, it failed the save when you hit it, but then it came to its turn. It made the save. Oh, my and, bad. And after Nan shot it and got it, it was resistant to the damage that Nan did. And it, made, oh, okay. it, didn't, it didn't make an action in its turn, so it wasn't a very exciting turn for it. It just was trying to struggle out of this petrification. Uh, okay. Never mind, ignore me. Um, uh, 13 to hit, Sin. Yeah. Um, okay. Sixteen damage. Good thing I'm the tank. Um, uh, and uh, you need to make me uh, a con save. Nine. You don't make the con save. Uh, so you are now poisoned. Um, uh, and this is not a, this is a long term one. So it's not every turn. Uh, it's every 24 hours. You must attempt to cure this poison uh, without um, an antidote. Um, uh, and it reduces your hit point maximum not just your hit points. So um, by 1d10, every time you fail the, the save. Okay, but I'm a bear, oh. so would that transfer into... It transfers into more uh, into uh, into Sin's form, yeah. Ah, so, that's um, really, really dangerous. Um, the, the target dies <laughs> if you were reduced to zero hit points by it. Um, this reduction of the target hit points maximum uh, lasts until the disease is cured. You are not just poison, it's a, it's a disease. Okay, uh, and the other ones are going to go one for um, one for Arden and one for Rook. Oh, and I lose my dice off the table. Uh, so the first one going at Rook is uh, Arden, sorry, is um, nine, uh, 19. Uh, hits. Okay. Uh, so you take uh, uh, nineteen damage. And you are grappled. Are you down yet? No, but I think we're in serious trouble here if it can deal that kind of damage with uh, a multi attack. And now, uh, uh, and now with its uh, other one on Rook, and it's a sixteen. No, didn't get Rook. So nope. Um, you see the creature bite down on Sin's bare form and. The, the odor of its breath is kind of and saliva is dripping into the wounds of Sin's bare form. You see Arden get slashed at and then wrapped up in one of the tentacles. Um, 
it is now uh, and is now grappled by the creature. It is now Arden's turn. You can try and um, uh, escape the the grapple. Uh, Question, DM. Strength. Um, if I shove it with the kinesis, mm -hmm. would would it lose its grapple on Arden? I think it's just push violently. Probably not. You could try and free it from. You can maybe target the the, the tentacle. Maybe that might be something to do. Um, so Arden, uh, it's a. Uh, uh, yeah. I can escape grapples using dexterity, I believe, using acrobatics. Yeah, yeah. It's either strength or. If I remember the mechanic correctly, monk, I think. Yeah, but that's not just have your monk. ring. I think it's um, w with a grapple. It's the the person who's doing the grappling has to do a strength check, but the person who's being grappled can do Dex either or acrobatics or uh, athletics to get out. Um, so I will do. That is a 21 to escape. You are wrapped up in this creature and then you bust your way out of its uh, its tentacle. Okay, and, so uh, that's my action to do that, yeah? Uh, that would be your action to do that, yes. Okay, in that case, <laughs> Jesus Christ, I am going to run away. <laughs> I am running away. Are you gonna, you've got an expedition retreat or whatever it's called. Um, no, I've got the mobility feet, so, uh, oh, actually, no, that, no, I'd still take an opportunity of attack if I choose to run away, because mobility only works if I've punched it first. No, you haven't, you haven't knocked it in the head yet. Um, hang on, hang on, I might have some of that. So in that case, more. I'm going to bonus action, and I'm going to spend a key point Yeah. to do um, Step oh. of the Wind. Yeah, okay. Which gives me the disengage action. Yeah. As a bonus action. Yeah. So, key point. Step of the wind. Bonus action. Disengage. Run away. Okay. And when he feeds? Um, I have... And I'm just going to back up to I this corner here. I have completely been ignoring my sentinel feet. But that only happens on. Oh, yeah, you get Within, an opportunity of yeah. attack on some anything that's anything that if attacks, it attacks anything, anything near me, like allied, I get an uh, a a melee weapon attack as a reaction. Mm -hmm. But I'm not within five feet of you. You're not Sin. anymore. No. no, no. And Sin is uh, not within five feet. Oh, okay. Of the creek. So Never mind. Have I haven't been next to each other. Basically, <laughs> you'd have to be. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, yeah. like, like. Shoulder. Never mind. I've not been ignoring it. I didn't need to use it. Yeah, that's what happened. Of course. Um, uh, Niala, it's your go. <laughs> it's my go. So I am going to try to fry this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Fry it. So. Firebolt. Oh boy. It's a six. I don't see the hit. Fire screeches across and, and explodes some excrement in the corner. It smells foul. Um, it's now Sin's turn. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I almost got bonus action. Sorry. I am going because um, I want it to be pushed away this time. Okay. Yeah, go for it. So do me, uh, yeah, a straight a strength save. Uh, yeah, it makes it. It got uh, yeah. It got a thirteen on its roll, um, plus a five. So yeah, it's a uh, it's uh, above. Okay. Bad shots today, uh, Niala. Um, so uh, Sin, your go. You are up next to it. You're feeling pretty grim. You're on mute as well. My bad. Sure. Uh, fuck. How much points did it do? It took me 16, right? When they attacked me? Yeah. Uh, Are you still in bear form? Yeah, I am. Yeah. It just took like half of my HP right there. It's fine. 
And I got another water shape, so I'd be fine too. Uh, yeah, again, just my uh, multi attack to do as much damage as I can. Yeah, go for it. Start, wait, uh, 19? 19. 19's got it. And natural 20? Oh, yeah, got it. Definitely. <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, oh, shit. What's the first attack? Uh, oh, yeah, bite then claw, isn't it? And goes yeah. All right. So the bite is 28. Uh, 12 points for the bite. And for the claw, is it claw? Yeah. Be seven, fourteen, fourteen plus six, twenty. Wait, fourteen plus four, eighteen. Eighteen points, not twenty. Eighteen. Um, uh, you bite into it where it bit uh, against where it's it sunk its teeth into you. You bite back against the creature, and then you swipe it. And as you swipe, you take the the central tentacle off of this creature. Uh, it wiggles off and screams, and a huge gush of ichor squirts out the top of this thing like a some sort of uh, eldritch fountain, and it sinks into the slop and mud, and the creature stops moving just with a few twitches of these extended tentacles. Wow. Twitches. <laughs> That's all? Can I kind of summon my axe back? Yeah, as it's sinking in, you... And it comes into your hand. Thanks. Um, are you everything. okay over there? And that's everything I can do as a bear. So. Mm -hmm. and there's a rather um, sickly looking bear with a wound on its shoulder that is already beginning to turn gangrenous, it seems. Yeah, you should do something about that uh, sin. Sin just goes, well. <laughs> um, yeah, so you, uh, the room that you are in now, um, uh, you are standing just inside. There is a body floating down. Um, you can see a ladder running up to another one of the vents that you've previously witnessed. Uh, the ladder runs up about 25 feet uh, uh, up. Um, Make a perception check for me. Uh, who's in there? Uh, we'll get uh, sin. Actually, you'd see it straight away with your with your passive because it's ridiculous, isn't it? Um, you sin. You see um, where towards the uh, the back half of the room there, towards the right. Um, you notice that there, like sort of here, there isn't a completely solid wall there is uh, a crevice in that wall just sort of black you can't really see it's like two pieces like this but you can definitely see that there's a space between it's obviously your choice if you want to uh, share that with the rest of the gang um rook you are in there also and Arden is in there too. So Arden, from where you are, you can't see this crevice, but you do see the ladder. Rook, you also see the ladder in the vent above the sort of uh, mission that you've been sent in here to clear the gutters. What would you like to do, folks? Do you reckon we should clear this this last gutter? If there's any uh, nasty stuff in there? I am not swimming in this. Either we search for something, either we get out. Arden, from where you are, you realise that the centre of the room, so sort of five feet in and all the way up to the ladder and up to uh, the back wall is deeper water, is water up to your chest. So to get to the ladder, you'd have to wade chest high in the... Is it deeper where I currently am? No, around the edges it's shallower. It kind of comes up, okay, uh, like like a like a like a 
just natural rock formations coming up to the side. How deep is it exactly? It's up to uh, Luke's sort of chest, probably your mid, just below your sort of, your, your, your stomach maybe. So is this thing dead now or? That thing is sunk into the water and is dead. It is, it is. Oh, we can't, I killed it's it. It's not moving. It's stopped moving. It's dead. Yeah, you killed it. Then. Oh, I thought. I. Oh, oh. I'm. <laughs> I'm a bit skeptical because because like, there wasn't like a how do you do this. Yeah, like it was I just. just uh, like, it was oh, just like yeah. a, oh, it's dead. Yeah, I did. Oh. No, it's dead. It's dead. <laughs> oh. No DM trick. Yeah. <laughs> I also. But, but that <laughs> thing was just the child. Yeah. <laughs> Because it's just like, oh, I just like a lot like for something that went down in two rounds. Um, yeah, I was not ready for that. Oh no, I thought we were still fighting. I'm like, oh, how am I gonna tell them that when I'm like, why uh, do we have a fight? You know, it's just like, sorry, no, oh. what were you gonna say? Well, sorry, no, Pete did ask Sin what they were going to do, right? Yeah, yeah. So Sin, yeah. Oh, okay. he's sinking into the depths and kind of bits of it are like sticking out and there's twitches from the tentacles. And But it is... <laughs> nah, I, I just don't know whether I trust it or not. Yeah, like, I'm going to go back <laughs> to the body and start like, uh, tearing it to shreds. I do not trust anything down here. <laughs> I'll just really... I don't know what it is about it, but I just don't trust it. No, mm -mm. Um, I just start ripping everything to shreds. Anything that I can find about the, about um, the thing we just bought. Should we take a piece of uh, this uh, cre creature? Is uh, Do we want to... Oh, hell no! Our I, employers. To be fair, I think that might be a good idea. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I, I mean, like the head, right? Do. And we're flying? Sorry, um, let's have uh, Arden. Sorry, it went all crazy there. Yeah. I agree with Nan. I don't think we should return without evidence of what we've had to deal with, especially considering it was pretty deadly. Maybe it yeah. might cool. give us a little bit of a higher pay grade if we can show them something. Let's so see. I think that's a wonderful idea. Sin, let's have you. I didn't hear what you said because it all went overlappy. Yeah, I didn't hear anything. They were shredding something in the kitchen, so... <laughs> uh, Arden was suggesting that you uh, you take a part of this creature away um, as evidence for the um, your, your bills. Get your bills. I mean, you still have the tentacle, no? The tentacle's in the water. Yeah, it went flying, right? When I was like... You, you, can't, you swiped it off with your claw, it flew off and uh, into the kind of deeper part of the water. Hmm. Let's just chop another tentacle off. Okay, so how how deep did you say it was? Uh, it's it's, in, in it's only waist deep where stomach, you're standing. Basically, I reckon the way you'd go into it. So you could probably get a, a handle on it or there's, there's part of it is still exposed in this pool because it's quite a big creek. It's, uh, it's large. And then they say like it had a head for a, tent a tentacle for a head? Or is it like... It, it, has, uh, it has like a sort of oval uh, body like this and then has three tentacles that come out of that, that body. Just take a tentacle. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'll, I'll go back to my, you know, half out form and just, okay. just start connect. Are there only two on the body? There's two left on the body and one that's like you've already hacked off with your bare claw. Keep in mind what you can carry. Mm. How heavy are they? Like, are they like big or like? Uh, they're, they're quite long. They're sort of about five foot. Oh, damn. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> they're kind of circumference, sort of about like this. Oh, okay. That's a lot bigger than Cut off the top two feet of the deadliest bit. Just yeah, so just show. like, just the tip, just like the front. Just the tip. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. just the tip. Uh, to do so, you 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 step into the place. <laughs> no, you're not in bare form. You are up to your, you are up to your um like armpits in this fetid filth. Um, uh, you need to make a survival check. Um, 
to see if you can harvest just the tip. <laughs> tip oh, harvest. this is the best. Three, oh, oh, that's seven. All right. That's uh, 15, uh, 20, 22. Yeah, you get you you harvest the finest tip. Stop <laughs> saying tip, please. <laughs> You're just encouraging it now, Pete. Um, yeah, come on. Well, last week was just like, well, it was just all like this. Um, so uh, different now, characters, all right? Different yeah. characters on Saturday. <laughs> different campaign, which is um, coming soon. Hey. I'm just going to enter the thing and just. Look around a bit to mm -hmm. see if I... Uh, do a bit of like, get... for me, Niala, to see if you see this crevasse. Actually, um, uh, Muruk and Arden can as well. Did I just get one tip oh, or two? You just got, the, was you just got the one you were going for. Perception, uh, Muruk. Right. Uh, same with uh, Arden and, and Niala. Nine. Why do I have that? Did I just put tip you of a monster? Nine. You don't see it. Nine, you don't see it. Nine. But I have a passive oh, perception nine. of fifteen. No, it's 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 quite it's quite secluded. This thing, it's not at the right angle for you to see. Uh, Sin, um, you can put it as an O T U G tentacle. It's O T Y U H G, I think. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait! I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Um, um, uh, I saw that again. O T Y U H G or G G U H. Hold on. O T Y. Why does that sound like it's slightly demonic? O T. We've seen. Well, I did sense. I did sense aberrations, right? Yeah. Oh God, you did. It's demonic. Oh no. But in, uh, demonic bam, bam. would be fiendish, though, wouldn't it? Not aberration. Yeah. Bam, bam, bam. All right. So I just got the one. One is enough, right? Just like the one tentacle. What, one is one tentacle is fine. That's all we need. We don't one need just one. Fine. One tentacle isn't enough. The second one isn't going to make any difference. Um, DM, can I? Tentacles are tentacle. Can I scope out the rest of this area? Uh, didn't you say that in this bigger area there was like a really deep hole? Uh, where you are now, when you walked in the first mm. time, you realised that similar to the area <gasps> beyond, there is, you can't tell how deep it is after ah. five feet of standing in this sludge. Right, okay. So, so, the, so the closer we get to the ladder, the deeper and deeper it gets to the point where we'd have to swim no, no. to get all, to the ladder. All that area there, you can sort of just about make out the bottom, uh, Arden. Where, oh. where Nan is, five feet around the edge, there seems to be a, a stand. Oh, on the bit other side. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Said, yeah. In, no, that's really deep. the centre deep. of that area yeah. over there, it is, uh, yeah, it's some, it's some deep poop. Uh, yes, I remember. Two different sections. Okay. Um, Arden is going to make his way over to the ladder mm -hmm. and he's just going to climb to the top and have a peek at what's at the top. Okay. Um, you, uh, as you go around the edge, you realize that you've got to get into the stuff to kind of get on the He'll ladder. He'll just um, swim. Uh, and you <laughs> swim across and you climb up and you're confronted with another similar thing, just blocked with random detritus. Oh, great. Can I? These are just. All right. Sorry, Sin. Go on. So you did have your hand up, and I didn't. I didn't say to you. What's on? Is, what were you telling me about the wall? So I, guess I noticed something about the wall. What was uh, it? To the right of the ladder, you see that there is a small crack in the wall. A crack? Like yeah, like there's two pieces like this, but the way that it's angled to you, you just make out the slight difference in the the depth perception of it. Because it would be big enough for somebody to go round and through, yeah. or would it have to be something uh, that yeah, would have yeah, to be malleably yeah. made? But none again. of you have seen it apart from Sin. So. Apart from oh, Sin. Oh, yeah, I'm, 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 going, I'm, go I'm, going, I'm going straight there just to, just okay. to see what's up with all that. We'll, we'll finish with what Arden's doing. Um, so uh, it's about here, Sin. Oh, wait, wait. I didn't see. Where? Oh, oh, somewhere I'm standing. Okay, yeah, all right, got you. Uh, so you're pretty much saying, uh, Arden, again, you see like this thing just blocked with... Uh, Arden will um, just pull up his sleeves and get to work. 
Okay, <laughs> can you uh, do a, a strength then, please? You're not good at strength. Mm. Don't forget to jump. Um, I mean, that was an eight, so... <laughs> No, it doesn't. It doesn't budge. But make me an investigation check. Oh, I'm not good at that either. <laughs> That's not bad. Fifteen. Um, you try and remove some of the the goop, but you pull away this hunk. But in your hand, as it kind of liquidizes, you open up your hand with something yeah. solid in the middle of it. Um, and in it there is a ring. Oh. Uh, and the ring you estimate nice. probably be about 200 gold pieces worth of ring. Sweet! <laughs> Pocket that. A chain. Um, yeah. Uh, and um, well, you could give it to Darvo to help start him on his line. Or not. <laughs> it's fine. He we'll, is a charity case. Cross, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. <laughs> um, so uh yeah, you're you're standing up the ladder and um, Maruk and uh Sin, you're kind of out of the line of sight. Celia and uh, uh Maruk see um Arden struggling to clear this vent. Uh, just call help him. Or uh, kind of <laughs> He's just a human. Walks up to this ladder, kind of out of way. That is offensive. <laughs> No, I'm half human too, okay? Chill. God, like, wow. Yeah, but you're an elf too, so... Yes, and also, look at the size of your arms compared to mine. Kind of just flexes a little bit. <laughs> of course he does. <laughs> Way to go, Grant. He's going to try and make a point at that, and he's going to take out his pole and give it a good whack to try and get more out of it, just to try and prove a point that even though he's a human, he could probably do it. Okay. Taking out his pole and... And whacking it with his pole, does it? Okay, give it a whack. <laughs> Filthy people. You started it. You started it. Okay, that's a nineteen. Uh, yeah, so that um, uh, uh, that hits it. Um, can you roll me a bit of damage for me? <laughs> Just the inner anger. Um, Would he get rage damage with that? <laughs> uh, what kind of attack? Just to like, what, yeah. should I say a quarter staff attack? Yeah, yeah, quarter staff. How do you become even a barbarian? Lots That's... and lots of anger issues. Nine damage. It shifts, some of the water starts coming through. Rook will just kind of okay. take out his spear and just between well, like... I jump down. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, <laughs> Kind of just, I don't just, want to be in mid fire. Just as as Arden jumps out of the way, just stab it with a spear. Mm, strength, strength. Uh, that is sixteen. Um, uh, no, it doesn't shift. This one, you jab at it, and it and it doesn't shift, and Arden has moved it a little bit. I'm gonna stab it again. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep on stabbing it until I fucking hit the thing. 22. Yeah. Excellent. So uh, so one where's my, where, where are all my dice? Uh, that is... 11 damage. Mm. The passageway clears. Arden and Maruk, please make dexterity saving throws. But, but, but I jumped at the... Oh, okay. Um. It's happening again, guys. It's happening again. No. That's a dirty 20. Um, uh, you are... Uh, you're, not, you're not prone. Uh, and In you're the water. Yeah, into the water. Uh, and then you've got to make a con check for me. Oh, no. <laughs> Not more con checks. Diarrhea up the nose. Oh, God. Oh, my Rook. Go back to saying tip instead of diarrhea up the nose. <laughs> Sorry, my Rook. Seven. Poisoned. Dean, 
Can you heal the guy, please? Uh, I just know the feeling. What did you get on your? She's got a disease herself. (laughs) Arden, what did you get on your dex? I got a dirty twenty. Oh yeah, you you leap out of the way of this pile of effluent, and you just see Muruk get showered, blasted back into the more into the center of the room by this extremely uh, bunged up thing. Fall into the the sewage, take a great mouthful, and come up looking rather green. Um, So much for just a human, hmm? You're just a human. Okay, and you so. know why I say this. Hmm. You, uh, you, you haven't have proved to... anything to me for now, so... I just look over to Sin and realise that she's having a look at the wall. Yeah, yeah, you can probably now work out... Sin, that. what are you doing? Uh... Nothing for now. Just, you know, admiring. That doesn't that sound very convincing. You're not a very good liar. What are you doing? Checking the wall. I'm checking the wall. For what? It's a wall. Hey, Sin. Maruk okay. just got the poop shower. I... Th- what did I notice about the wall again? That there's a crevice? Mm, like a crack, a crevice at least. Oh, a cr- so, and, yeah. and now, now, now that you're closer, you can see that in this crevice, um, just above the water line, um, it's like a, a triangle, yeah, triangular um, gap and a little space. Uh, make um, a, uh, an insight check, we're going to say. A, a wisdom check. Wisdom, sorry, wisdom. Not in the um, you think this might be the hole that the beast was communicating to you telepathically? Huh? What? What? The creature like. was saying to sit, uh, you said telepathically, saying, um, I'm waiting for them to come out the hole. You believe this might be the hole that the creature was talking about? All right, I, us to go in I tried to look in. Like, is there like, can I like look in, like, to see what's mm, you can feel what's you, as you peer down, you see um, a very narrow crawl space um, on your front hand over hand uh, on crawling down. You might be able to make it down this passageway. Mm. And it leads down sort of uh, northeastish. If you were looking at this map, like sort of up and to the right, into but it's actually traveling down further underground. I'm gonna pick at uh, Sin's shoulder and it'll be like, What you got? Okay, so you you move up, you go, you end up in the slush up to your up to your chest, um, you wade across. You look over Sin's shoulder, you see Lin, Sin peering into a um, uh, what appears to be some sort of tunnel of some sort. Um, and I can't see how far it goes down, or like, you know, uh, like. Rook, you can take an action and stand up. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay, uh, Sin, would you like to disinfect the back there? I, I can't. I'm sick. Hi. We're sick. I need to stick fixing up you and then. I'll be fine. Don't don't you worry. Look, let's and just every, get back to the pumping station, finish the job, and get out of here. And it's every twenty four hours, right? When I lose one d ten. Yeah. All right, I, I'll begin. Because uh, it was like every hour, oh, I am fucked by the... <laughs> I'm okay. good. All right, I'm good. Yeah, I want to just tell Arden and Nan. They're, they're next to me, right? They're like they're in looking the at the same hole. Yeah. Uh, Nan's standing across the room in the in the kind of entrance way to this place. Oh, I meant um, Niala. Niala. Niala's next to you. Um, you described the tunnel. Small, narrow, crawl space. Um, Very tight for a... 
uh, a person of your um, dimensions to fit through, <coughs> probably impossible for a creature of uh, Maruk's dimensions to fit down. He called me fat. Can I try uh, something? Yeah. I have actually two quarter staff, so what I'm going to do is put, is get out the two of them, put them in the uh, the crevices, and just try to um, to uh, enlarge the yeah the uh, the hole. This is this is quite solid rock. You don't think that this can move? Like uh, the 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 um the walls have been so far um built of this brick and stone, um, uh, a, a stone brick, sorry. Um, where you've reached here is some sort of natural kind of, oh. if it's like, a, a, like a, a stone wall. So it's not flexible in, in a way that a, a quarter staff would damage. You'd, you'd have to do some, uh, uh. Make, make an insight check, uh, a wisdom check, Niala. Wisdom. And I wash it to a badger and just go in, I think. I have no desire to go crawling into any more tunnels. Can we please move on? I think he's already done it. Six, I got a seven. He's already done it. Yeah, I already did it. I went ship into a badger and I went in. A, a seven, did you say? You you don't understand what how this could have been formed. Um, Sin, you move down into the tunnel in your badger form and you crawl for a little. You crawl for five minutes. The tunnel turns to the left, traveling further away from uh, where your friends are, deeper and deeper and deeper. Um, uh, make a perception check. It's kind of giving me Junji Ito vibes. Do you know? Oh, maybe you don't know that reference. Are you 20? Um, you here in your badger's form, your snout picks up something ahead of you. You hear the what sounds to be the clattering of possibly weapons. And I can't say anything. I have a dark vision of thirty feet as a badger. You can't. You can't see from where you are, but you hear echoing through this kind of um, tunnel. Maybe about maybe about two feet, three feet wide. This place. All right, I'll go back. I'll go back. Can I try to fit inside? Uh, you, you could, you could crawl hand over, like, like. Have you ever seen like Propolio potholing, where they have to be on their bellies and crawl through the narrow spaces? Like, it's going to be like it's that. Like my. Oh worst. yeah, and like it's uh, like in Die Hard One when uh, John McClane has to crawl through the vent. Yeah, yeah, you're going to be like that, yeah. Um, so, Sin, you, yeah. you return, you see this badger's little pink nose pop out of the thing, and uh, Sin appears out of this little tunnel. And I want to sit back, and that's like, nah, nah. what did I hear? Like, just like, you had the bunch clattering of, of, you had the clattering of, uh, of like wooden sticks and uh, the clanking of metal. Like, them trying to scare me off, or like, just them um, just getting ready? Or I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know, right? You wouldn't know. All right. Yeah, I I tell I tell them what I heard. Mm -hmm. Could be You're something, maybe not. Oh fuck! I, I go back into my half hour for it. Just a badger just comes out going. <laughs> <laughs> just like. Uh. <laughs> I just jump. Uh, just after. Uh, just after. Her. Uh, and yeah, I don't know what it could be down there exactly. It could be, you know, like a mini race or like a like subterranean race, like we had with the mushrooms, or it could be people hiding down here. I don't really want to find out. I don't really care. Let's just do our job and get into the city. Too late. <sighs> oh wait, you did they tell us about the pump thing? Uh, yes, you, we have to put yeah, the pump you, back on. You have you have spoken about that, Niala. You are wedged in this uh, tunnel. You are moving at half speed. Um, uh, you, see, just... uh, you see Niala jump down uh, 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 this tunnel and start crawling along. 
Niali, you follow the route, you get to the, the junction where you sort of turns to the left. This is most difficult for you to, um, <laughs> to traverse. Uh, and the tunnel is, is very, very small. Uh, make your perception. I got a nine. You don't hear anything as yet. Do you want to continue on? Yeah. Okay. You continue on through the tunnel um, and uh, you're peering out through uh, this, just all you can see ahead of you is like yeah. a circle shape like this that vanishes into darkness and you know, the grayness is sort of, uh, you, the shades of gray that you see and with your dark vision pick up the edges of the walls, um, but nothing but blackness, blackness, blackness. And then it opens up and drops in front of you. Hey. There is a straight drop down in front of you. Um, I'm just you, going to. You, you see that there is a, a rope ladder attached at the end of this passageway. So the, the, it's kind of like this. And then there's a rope ladder that drops down from it. Um, you look down into a cavern. Um, and you see goblins um this is going to be a bit difficult to do it by myself but i can't exactly just go back um you are now basically stuck facing one way in this tunnel hang not just peeking out You'd have to bum shuffle back. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to go back just a bit, mm -hmm. enough for uh, to reach back uh, you guys, and to tell you this. Okay, I went through this, and there's goblin. Get out of there! Come um, back! No, well, you haven't made it back yet. So. You start shuffling backwards. Can you make a stealth check for me, please? I can try. <laughs> 15. Uh, okay, hold on. Um, you start backing up the tunnel. Um, trying to be as quiet as you can. Uh, and you don't hear any change in the noise of the creatures below. You hear their harsh little staccato uh, voices barking at each other. And then there's a cheer yeah! um, of them. And then you hear like the clash of swords. And then what you hear one voice that's kind of orotating, you assume, like sort of talking to the group of them, trying to um sort of uh hype them up basically uh, and you manage to squeeze your way gradually back up the tunnel and you guys suddenly see these cat paws emerge out of backwards out of this tunnel and you you and wiggle its way back out and you're back out help grab a by one paw and i just pull mm -hmm. um, slides out um, she's quite slick with sewage, so the movement's quite easy to do. Can we okay. go now? Um, no, there's a goblin. How and if there's a goblin, go there's treasure. That is I not know true. this. That is Goblets true. Take Maruk. Shit. Hmm? That is not true. That is true. What? Well, there's a goblin, there's treasure. Not necessarily. Well, there's goblins, there's bad shit. We Trust me, I know. Goblins, can we just inform them on the way out? That's not our job. No, we may be missing something. No, our job is to come in here, clean the sewers and fuck off. Nan. I am Same. tired, I want a comfy bed, and I want to get out of this place. 
I certainly don't like being underground. No. You are no fun. Okay. So I'm okay with that. When was this about fun? This is about getting paid and getting into the city. We can have fun once we're in the city. We can go and investigate your goblins as much as you want when we're in the city. But for now, we're trying to get into the city. We are in the city. We are in the city sewers, technically. But we're not in the actual city. I need to lie down because I'm shattered. So you're saying that we are outside city while this thing is the property of the city. If, If there are goblins, how many... And maybe we need some help, so perhaps it is... Arden turns around and just starts walking and leaving. Fuck. Yeah, uh, same here. Yeah. There's a minimum of three. It's not like we can't, we can't take them. Yes, but think about it. I can't fit in the hole. Pretty sure Nan and, and Arden probably wouldn't fit in the hole. No offence to you guys. Arden stops, turns around, walks up to the hole, and just shouts down the hole. Oi, you little green bastards, get your asses out here. Um, okay. Why? Um, I, I keep walking. Mm-mm, nothing okay. And then just waits, listens. Make, make a, make a um, I don't know, intimidation, I guess. So you want to try and intimidate them, get them to come out. Oh, well, yeah. With I was going to say performance to see if To be honest, is. considering yeah. I have a minus one, I rolled a natural 19, so that's 18. Hey. Uh, yeah, so you start hearing a clattering in in the tunnel. Stuff the monster in the crevice. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff the remains in there. Can I? No. Can I just try to? I just put my hand in the hole and cast firebolt. <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> I just have the biggest green <laughs> right now. Okay. In a barrel. Why am I even entertaining this? Oh, 22. Yeah, you hit a goblin with a 22. <laughs> and no, this is... Sin's just walking away. She's already like... Four um, fire damage. Okay. Um, can you also roll a d20 for me? Just straight d20. I was getting them to come out, and then you go and attack them. Great. 19? Um, there is a severe burning smell. Um, and you, from what you can see at the end of your firebolt range at the tunnel where the, the, the junction is, is you see a, a goblin flailing round with its clothes on fire, um, burning in the tunnel, um, literally just actually like is the lee goblin is like flailing round you see all his friends trying to pat it out there's a uh, smoke starts coming out of the tube um and the smell of burning goblin starts beginning to fill the chamber that was previously smelling of sewage so and um, you're not sure if this is an improvement for a wizard <laughs> you are fucking stupid aren't you fuck you <laughs> you're not sure if this is an improvement is and we go now. <laughs> okay, then we can go. <laughs> okay, so now you leave some angry burning goblins in a tunnel. Um, yeah, so has gone. She left. Okay, cool. So, She's somewhere in the tunnel. I think Nan would have likely... Well, actually, probably started to follow Sin and then started to go back and then started to follow Sin. <laughs> so she's probably about here by now. Okay, cool. Um, uh, it's just under the background. Follow yeah. them. Rook, Rook's just, just going to kind of hang back a little bit in case any goblins come out. Yeah, you just hear this kind of screaming and failing coming out from this tube. I kind of like, as they kind of get kind of out of earshot, I, I want to go back to, the, to this hole and just scream down in goblin. Fuck off. I don't, I can't be asked with you. Just fuck off. <laughs> okay. And just, just start walking away. <laughs> Yeah, okay. So you've got um, two routes out there. You've got the route. Let's just here, double check the pump station. And here. Yeah, I'm aware. If the pump station's all clear and working, then 
then we get out of here. Okay. Mm. Cool. So, um, if you want to move your characters, hold on. I'll, I'm going to grab your characters a sec, guys. So, stay still. Oh, where are you gone? I'm like halfway there to the pump. Okay. Um, where am I missing? Where are there's, you? No, like, there's no like writing and stuff on the wall or anything in, down here or. No, 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 nothing that you can see. Um, who's that over there? Goblin number one was here. <laughs> <laughs> I've just. <laughs> Man, are there two, two of you on this map? What hmm? are there two of you on this map? Me? Doesn't look like it. No? Okay. All right, hold still. I'm going to move you all into that, where that door was. So you all move into this, uh, the centre room with a big pile of poop in the middle of it. And in bad shit golem. Uh, uh, and um, are you, so you're at- I'm on the other side actually. Okay. Uh, so I was just trying to move everyone over and I think everyone's trying to move it too. Uh, yeah, you see this door that was previously stuck that Arden managed to undo embarrassing Rook slightly. Oh. <laughs> and there- Don't worry, I won't tell There is a, a ladder Good. and a hatch. Ladies um, first. Who's he saying? Uh, gentlemen. Everyone. Harden just ignores and goes up. Yeah, fair. Like I said. Okay, so you guys hey. are now... Um, I'm going to just grab you. So stay still a second. Don't move your characters. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm going to grab you. Should one of us stay down by the base of the ladder just in case? Is that a good... I will. Okay, so Rook, you stay just down there. Uh, and... You I would just say down, just in case the goblin are back. Okay, so sorry, I've just grabbed you, Neil. I'll put you back there. Hold on. Uh, so, Arden... Uh, I just uh, have the biggest grin right now, because I'm very proud of what I've done. Arden, Nan, and Cindy, if you want to scroll to the bottom left-hand corner of the map. Nah, bam, there. Uh, oh, this four levers. I have a question. Yeah. Is Niala trying to hide this smile or is it just like a big in like in your face? Ha, guess what I did, smile. <laughs> no, she's just it's just a satisfied smile. Okay, interesting. Carry on. Okay, um so uh in this room you see uh this kind of green machine with bronze um, uh, fixings upon it, um, faded and rusted and um, covered with uh, uh, moisture and condensation. The room smells damp like the rest of the place, but slightly uh, better kept. There is a central um, large wheel um, that has four uh, uh, handles that stick out of it. Uh, and on the machine, there is a uh, Four levers that move uh, that appear to move up and down, um, and there is a central section which is like, almost like a porthole on a boat uh, that is has a clear glass central section to it, um, and uh, you can see uh, kind of filth and uh, the stuff in there, and you can hear what um, Murk and Arden heard, and this machine is under pressure mm. okay. I saw that sing along <laughs> um, oh. puzzle and look at uh, Arden did they tell you what to do with this or anything like, no they did not oh hey dog you want to mess around with the switches see what happens can I look for some instructions first? Are there like any? <laughs> is, is there anything around you? Uh, make an investigation check for me. Okay. Don't like touching weird machinery. What is machinery? I've got a natural one. I got a 12. <laughs> oh, wait, everyone? Yeah, everyone can be really having a little look around. I... Okay. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> As an act, um, oh, what's my intelligence? Uh, in, wait, in investigation? Yes, please. Yeah. 
Oh, uh, hey, okay, no, plus 19. Um, you look round, um, you see that there is, by the, the sort of the porthole, there is a, um, a sort of a little uh, divot on the top of it. And you rub it with your hand and you realise that there is a, um, a, a glowing light behind it. Um, there's actually two, one beside the other. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And as you look at it, um, there is a red light on the left hand one, which is uh, in colour. You can see that the other one would be green, uh, but is not lit. Um, oh, okay. Inside of the window itself, you peer in. It's really, it's really dirty water moving around inside this space, but you see that there is a kind of uh, a mesh in there, a metallic mesh. Hmm. Well, I tell them, I tell them and see if they know, like, because it's like, I lived basically in the forest and with animals most of my life, so I hardly know, like, what machines do, right? And I don't know about them, so I just uh, everything. If you guys don't know, I'm, I'm going to start, I'm going to just start switching, switching switches. I'm going to go with my gut instinct here. Let's pull these levers down and then turn that wheel and see what happens. What well, does the mesh? Can I can I have a little closer look at the mesh? Like, does it is there water behind it? Is it sort of like a filter type affair? You think it's exactly like a filter type affair? Not that well. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. I would have filtered stream water. You, have, you know, you through. Understand, can, you would understand. I understand how, how like a a. A, a, basically like a like a, a set would be made like a, a, an otter yeah. sort of thing or something like that you would have seen mm-hmm. a river flowing and you would see that things would catch in a in a yep. kind of mesh shape like this okay but why is it here anyway sorry um i mean i'm not going to stop them from pulling levers if they're going to pull levers um <laughs> yeah I'm putting, le- I'm putting the ones on the left. Maybe you should happens. look around a bit. Pardon no, pulls the ones on the right. Very funny. Okay, so which one are you pulling, Sin? Uh, the two on the left. The two on the left. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> oh no, we're going to blow up the ceiling. The two on the left. Um, there is a... a um, you try and pull the ones on the left. Uh, but both of them kind of move a bit, but don't move fully. Like they're stuck or they're locked. Uh, there is play in the in the lever, uh, but you can't move them any further than this space. Oh, okay, okay, okay. There's play that doesn't seem mechanically jammed. It seems like they would move, but there's something not happening. All right. Harden tries his. Okay. Um, as you pull uh, the two levers, uh, are you pulling the same time? Uh, they don't. They don't do anything. Mm. Just like mm, no movement at all. Yeah. Uh, like again, similar. Like it mechanically sound, but they're they're in place. You want to try spinning the. The thing, yep. Okay, so um, uh, Arden um, and uh, Sin push the wheel round. This um, turns very freely. Oh, okay. Nice. And spins around. Nan, take a look through that porthole. Is anything moving? Yeah, that's what I was just about to. Nan, uh, what is... you can see that the water is slowing in this. It... Okay. Like the, it travels from right to left in this in this contraption uh, okay. through the window, as you can sort of see it, and you see that the window is uh, the, you see that the water level is gradually dropping, and slowing and turning to a trickle. And Arden at, and Sin at this point, the the wheel stops moving round. 
we let go of the wheel, what happens? Okay. You let go. Let go of the wheel. It sits still. Uh, the, the water has stopped, uh, so moving from uh, one right. direction to the other. Um, let's, let's try the levers now, then. All right. Maybe the water pressure was stopping it moving. It was too great. Let's okay. find out. Yeah, then I go to the left, see the important ball, see what happens. Which side are you going to? Uh, left, left one. Left. Before, sorry, um, just a second, uh, both of you. Can I kind of call down to Murak and Nyala and see whether anything has changed in the big? Yeah, what did you ask? Poo area. Mm -hmm. uh, you shout down, Murak. You, this is just a little trap door, so you can. You're kind of Murak's kind of pretty nearby. Um, mm. Muruk, you see no change in this space. No, nothing's happening down here. Nothing. Boring as all hell. Oh, come on. Are you even doing anything up there? Everyone's so grumpy. <laughs> he did say he was going to be grumpy. You, you turn away slightly abashed by Muruk's um, harshness uh, towards you. Um, oh, Arden just wants see... a bath. You see Sin and uh, Arden about to pull levers. Sin, tell me exactly which lever you're pulling. You've got two on the left and two on the right. So they're one, two, three, four, moving left to right. Yeah. Yeah, starting on the left, you know, like from left to right. And see. You pull the, the, the left hand one. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and it doesn't do anything. You pull the second one along, lever number two. Uh, and the uh, uh, the humming from the machine stops. Yeah, that broke. And the, little, it. and the little green light comes on. Oh, hey, all right. Green, green is good. Yeah. You think um, that was it? You think we're done? Do we hear I, anything I look down through here? The, I look through the porthole and see if anything's changed. You see a mass of detritus. In a filter. Um, do we hear anything downstairs? Do you, you hear the humming Wait. stop? I see a massive what? A Stuff massive in the detritus. Oh. I just yell up, the humming stopped. Do we need to um, clean the filter maybe? Is that something that, like. I think, I think that's meant to be what this does, but we've stopped the mm. water flow and. Has has nothing's moved with the filters? Uh, no, the filters remain the same. So nothing mm -hmm. on the inside has changed. No. Are there any pipes, like different pipes, kind of situation? Uh, there is an input pipe on the right hand side of the machine. There is an output pipe on the left hand side of the machine. As you look at it, the one end is the out, the four end. Okay. Is the I go back to the wheel and I turn it. Um, you turn it on, the water rises up, but doesn't make it all the way up the, the screen as you turn it back. Um, the water flows through. Um, make a, a wisdom check. Uh, probably and with assist because Nan's looking. Saying green is good. <laughs> A natural one, and then that's a four, so. And then it's poison, then, then it's banned. Just, just an eight. Um, you, you don't know what this is. Are we even supposed to be in here? I thought we were just supposed to clear out the grates. Grates? That's what the. Mm. Yeah. Um, were we even supposed to touch this? Now that I think about it? This might be above our pay grade. Yeah, you just want to put it back to how it was, let them deal with it. We already... I mean, green seems good to me, right? Yeah, yeah. If anything, we'll just say we never touched it. Is the water flowing there. again? The water is going through um, at a much lower pace. All right, all right. But it's not I making the it's... same amount of noise of water with pressure as was before. There is no noise from the machine. I think we're good. All right. Then that's... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cast another first level spell. Because I'm dirty, right? Like, <laughs> since I was in there. 
you're pretty grim. Yeah. You're a dirty right. day cow. Well, I'm you're a, the one getting dirty here. What I'm gonna do is once we like cross the little like the street. Actually, is do do we have to? Yeah, once we like cross like the little like stream so that we're on this side or something. Um, it won't let me do the ping. But like once we cross, I'm just like give myself a shower real quick so that I can like at least be somewhat clean. Okay, so you um, you you're leaving this room. Yeah. Quick quick one before we leave. Let's not tell the dwarf about this. Yeah. Sorry? We, we, we could have messed not, up the whole Let's not tell the dwarf about this unless it seems to be a good thing. If he asks any questions, we did nothing. Alright. Just in case we've made things worse. Um right, let's <laughs> let's get the hell out of here. Yeah. Okay, so you descend the ladder, ladder, the ladder, <coughs> yep. the ladder, and you are you are back in the um, the poo room, um, and you um, under there. What do you do? You meet up with uh, George uh, with Maruk, even all oh, slip there, um, and uh, Niala, <laughs> um, and uh, what do you do? Do you tell them? I think, I think we're done here. I don't think there's any much else we can do. Yep. Yeah, we can we can hear the man's machine anymore. Yeah, if if the dwarf asks, we didn't do anything. So um, I I I don't know what we're meant to have done with that. He didn't tell us to do anything with that. So we didn't do anything. We with didn't it. do anything with it. So let's just go, shall we? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, I just found a better way to phrase it. Once we're like near the door to leave. I'm gonna do like the create water thing so that it rains a bit so that we could like clean ourselves up a bit, you know, not smell disgusting. Cool. So you kind of create this kind of temporary shower that um, uh, Sin has created. Um, there is a lock gate in front of you. Well, we have the uh, keys, right? Rook has yeah, the keys. Yeah, I've got the key in my neck. I just pull it off and just unlock the gate. Okay. Um, yep, yeah, you. Undo the lock, the lock swings open just as you would expect it to. And we will leave the sewers. Mm. Lock it behind yeah. us. And lock. Well, the, the dude door. should be on the side, right? So hopefully. Oh, but still. Yeah. Manners cost nothing. I just kind of usher everyone out and then just look, close and lock the door behind me. Mm -hmm. Put the key back, back around my neck. Cool. Um, so you, you move on and you move around to the front of the building. And you, um, you come across. Um... Oh, and before we go through the door, I also say, don't mention the goblins. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Mm -hmm. We're gonna keep oh, that come on. No. Oh, because then it's just gonna cause problem for us. <sighs> we already had enough to deal with. Um. Uh, you, uh, you walk around to the front of the building. It's kind of getting on now, sort of afternoon time on the same day that you went in you went in in the morning if you remember you had a long rest and then went and uh in into these tunnels and um you kind of see the hubbub of folk you see more and more uh pens of of animals set up and more uh like the camp is growing around kakanzak's proper it is quite a thing to behold you see these little fires and little smokes you hear sound of uh, merriment and campfires and you see like the brown fat brown leathers and um gray beasts moving across the landscape around and it's uh, a stark contrast to the white snow that surrounds the rest of kakanzaks and the icy waste that you have been used to um uh as you uh approach the 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 main gate um you see um your dwarf friend that you you got the, your job from. What's his name again? Malgon. 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 Hey. Job's done. I'll take the key, just throw, throw it at him. He'll be you wanting that back. You check the tank home, is it? What the heck are you done? Hmm. We cleared yeah. the drains like you cleared, asked. Cleared the blockages like you asked. What's this? 
That's the, the key. key that gave us to get in there. Oh, sorry, the key. Okay, the yeah. key. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not the tentacle. the tentacle. I haven't got the tentacle. I have it. I have it. Okay. He, we, goes, um... he grabs the key and he goes, Oh, it stinks. What have you been doing swimming in that? Oh, yes. We fall. One or Not two times. Choice. There was a quite yeah. a lot of pressure and I kind of went under for a little bit. But we also had to submerge ourselves at one point to get to one of the drains. There wasn't an access point by foot. Let me keep that in mind. Okay. And there was also a pretty nasty beastie in the way. Nasty beastie? Soon. Yeah. And then I flopped on the tentacle. Uh, <laughs> That's not a nasty beastie. And then That's the only... disposal system. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> well, it attacked us. So. Well, uh, no, Why no, no. Tell us fine. about that. It's fine. It just shed its tentacle. Everything's I didn't ask fine down there. To fix the waste dipo- disposal system. I said clear the drains. Yes, and that was in front of one of the drains. Yeah. And it hurt. Maybe a next lot. time you send somebody down to get drain, clean drains, you might warn them about the massive monster you've got down there. Well, I didn't we did ask you. Bother with the monster. It normally just sits in its pile of filth and feeds. Just eats and eats and eats. That's what it does. No, it was quite hostile towards us. So not telling anybody about it is a good idea. Is that what you think? Not necessarily a bad idea either. Because I don't want everyone knowing that that's how the system's been working. Yes, but if yeah, you send well, people down there to clean... killed us! If you send well, people down there to clean, then you might want to warn them about something living down there that could potentially attack them like it did to us. I could have warned us. There are all kinds of creatures living down there, but look, you got... Look, this is not exactly solving the problem. Have you cleaned the gutters? Yes. 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 You've cleaned the gutters... Yes. 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 Now I've got to find some way of getting the rest of the muck out of there. Did well, you... that wasn't part of the job, so we we upheld our end. And now I've got to find me an Otiug. Yeah. Good luck with that. Yeah. Um, he kind of looks a little bit sad at the this tentacle. Look. If it was meant that much to you next time, warn people that there's one down there, and then maybe they won't attack it. I, I should have told you. That's, yes, why the you higher, that's why the higher money that I offered you. Look, here's your goal. We did ask. And he puts over If it hadn't have asked, then I wouldn't be cross about it. But we did ask, and you held it back. But thank you for the gold. Um, and the tokens to get in the there. city. And he gives you the... The, uh, uh, a token each and a token for the the two. I need you maybe later on. If you're that strong that you can kill them. Maybe, maybe if you tell us every detail about what you want us to do and not leave half of it up in the air so that we're surprised by this ugly beast thing. Like I said, normally he sits in the far room just Aye. underneath all of the muck that comes from the, the tube above. Mm. He'll have a little there. put around, he'll have a little clean out of the drains and keeps everything flowing nicely. Well, he wasn't, was he? He was attacking us. But and he but, was clearing the drains. What so, happened happened. What happened happened. He was there by was, some he was by some ladder. The far heading. room. He doesn't like that room. Well, that's where he went. Why I think something that? might have Ah, and we heard him talking our head. Well, we've already got our money now, so we might as well tell him. Um, we heard what sounded like goblins. Goblins? There's some kind of burrow in one of the far parts. We couldn't get into it. It was too small for any of us to access. Um, but what it sounded like is gal- goblins had made some kind of... Camp camp down there. We're not sure how many. It but we might have been attracted by them. Beyond the far room. I don't know if you know where that 
that comes out or where that where you can access that but you might want to send where, where the main waterfall comes in from the glacier yeah i know it well then yes you might want to send some soldiers or warriors or something down there to dispose of those goblins i did tell them to fuck off but whether they listen to me i don't know they were kind of on fire well of course he was down that way then if there's goblins down there little tiny easy prey like that He's not going to be eating his normal filth, is he? <coughs> if he's going oh, to go. the goblin one or two, he's going to be stuffing them in his face. Fat, lazy oaf. Yes, he was a fat, lazy oaf. Well, I suppose... I suppose. Look, I am going to probably... if, if the, Inform the guard. If the, I will inform the guard of that, but I may need your help later on because... The system, like I said, no one really knows how it works. It was just working. Until it wasn't, then I put the Otiog in there, and then the Otiog... Are you telling me that you want us to go and get you another Otiog? Sorry, can you repeat that? The the system was working, and then it wasn't, and then you put the... uh... The Otiog stopped eating the trash because it Mm. was getting goblins to eat instead. If we'd have just killed the goblins, the Otiog would have kept eating the trash and the water system would have worked fine. But we've killed the Otiog. So now there's no longer anything down there eating the trash, causing the backup. Has the Otiog always eaten the trash? Or was it working in some way before? When I had it, it was just a, a wee nipper. Oh, okay. A small one. Um, we did come across a pumping station. Ah. What appeared to be a pumping station. I'm, I'm a great fixer, but above my my uh, technical ken, I do not know what that is. It's a pumping station, we've just told you. I know basically what it is, but I don't know. So it's your job and you don't know what it is. That's why I got the... I didn't! Oh, so this is what I was trying to figure out, like whether there was, before the pre otiug Yes. There was, was a way of... Solution, yeah, but he doesn't know how to use it. He got yes. promoted above his station by the sounds of it. Uh, he looks embarrassed and kicks at the snow. Right, I do my best. Look, Frown we're not, we won't tell anybody. Yeah, you're doing a good job. But I oh, recommend maybe me. trying to find yourself an engineer that might know how to make that thing work. It might save you a lot of hassle in the long run. And a lot of coin. I suppose you're right. I was I was young and impetuous when I put that thing down there. I just wanted a sort of quick patch solution and it hasn't worked out well for me. And now the poor little blade is dead. You can take well, this as an opportunity to learn a new skill. Yeah. Or get a new so pet. Take it as a lesson of okay. life. If we haven't been there, your problem will never been fixed. Your two problem. So block sewer and a monster. He's no monster. He was doing a good job. Yeah. Um. How did you call it? Otiog. I I mean, you gave it a name, right? I think that's what. Right. Looks down. OT. <laughs> you didn't give her the name. I gave right, her yeah, name that... all right. Cecil. Cecil. Mm. You okay. might want to go down and recover the body and maybe give it a burial. I think it's already buried. Uh, um, how big is he now? It's quite he big. big. Tentacle, you know. Mm. So. When was the last time you even went down there? Like this? I not to. I'd end up like you, smell. Well, a beast like that needs, or a creature like that needs, you know, good handling to... Right. Um... First point, find an engineer. Second point, don't be afraid to get your, get your own hands dirty. And third point, where is there somewhere that we can stay in the city that you might come and find us if you need us again? Uh, Not saying that we will help, but just in case. There are plenty of inns, and I have enough ears and enough places within the city. I shall find you. Right. 
Well, you've got our names. Um, I have a question because I need some components and I need some herbs. Mm -hmm. Do you know where I can find that? Um, uh, Niala, you and a brace here. Niala, you know that uh, um, from being in the city before, there is um, a great many, uh, a diverse um, culture. And um, this is a central nexus kind of place where all corners of Fro has come to trade and then uh, are also shipped out from this point. Uh, Nan, you know a lot about this place. I do. Like I did ask for a brazier. Sorry, brazier. a brazier. Yeah, a brazier. Brazier. A brazier. brazier. <laughs> um, hang on, let me. I can't see it. I don't okay. know why. Oh gosh. Should we go and get Ed and Darvell and then make our way into the city? Nyala, I can. When we are um, rested and and uh, our friends are looking unwell um and for some reason my my back and shoulders have been hurting more recently um so maybe we rest and i can I'm show carrying you carrying the team the old old <laughs> um can, so this is girl shopping I... sure what's that huh yeah okay <laughs> basically it's when you have um I just um, want a nap. A friend like a nap. that goes with you, and that is a female that goes with you in shops. Huh, have fun with that. I see. For what purpose? I don't understand why shopping is exclusive they... to females, but okay. This is girl shopping. Right. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Let's, um, um, how, what did we, what did we get from? 75 what? gold each. Okay. 17? 75. Each? 75. Yeah. Each, yes. Each? I got a, I think I got a natural 20 on my persuasion check. Which <laughs> meant we got a pay rise, so. Okay. Yeah, you got a bit of dollar from this. And, and there's a 200 gold piece ring that Arden's going to look at just in case it's got any... Um, yeah, we'll stop for a minute before. before you go inside the city proper. Uh, and yes, have a please. For five minutes here? Yep. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I'm going to get some water. No How are you feeling, George? Right. Uh, anyway. So, we are, you are proceeding round the front of the uh, of uh, Kakanzax and you see this great hubbub uh, and there's the guards on the doors. Um, you... Uh, the pathway leads down the slope that leads up to the doors. True, uh, leads down to your right, and how oh, the dog just jumped on me. And uh, down to the right-hand side, um, it slopes off to the pens and the camps and bits and pieces um, where you are, where you left Ed and Darvell. I would like Can to I think find a witch. Really. Sorry, Nan, say again. I want to go find Jilly, but we'll see Sin. Okay, uh, Sin, sorry, go. Um, I, 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 I wanted to go um, find the witch real quick. Okay, so you're, you're heading towards the halflings. Uh, where is uh, Arden and uh, Niala going? I am going to fetch the head and give him a big old hug. Yeah, um, that's sort of where the halflings are. They've been hanging out with the halflings, if you remember. So you're all heading the same way. What about Muruk? Muruk, are you heading out, hanging out with these guys? I'm or? going nowhere near Ed. I'm, I, I, no, not a fan of Ed. Okay. Darvell, I can kind of kind of understand and kind of tolerate it because he's obviously was like kind of a mentor or something to Arden. But mm. Ed's just a rando that. I tried to kill, didn't, and he's now tagging along with us. So I, th I, I feel like the mood that Ro that Rook's in, if he goes anywhere near him, he he might just kill him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't you dare! So you you move into the uh, you move into the kind of area where you uh, camped with the, the halflings, um, and it's that sort of jovial scene again. There's the 
Uh, there's been the meal cooked. Uh, you can see um, like bits of food in uh, um, bowls and bones of animals been consumed. And um, you see everyone has had their fill um, around the, 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 the fire. Uh, uh, they're sharing stories. And uh, Darvel is sat um, uh, huddled up with the, the blanket that you, you, you get the sort of bedroll that you gave him previously on and wrapped around him. Um, sort of peacefully just smiling um, to the sounds around, like turning his head as if he, you know, like towards the sounds and listening carefully. Um, and Ed is standing with what appears to be a stick in his hand. And then um, he's then suddenly pelted with snowballs as some of the kids like throw a load of snowballs at him and he's trying to defend himself with this stick. It's like some sort of bizarre form of like cricket or something that's going on. Um, but basically there's too many being thrown at him and he's just getting pelted with snow and he's just, he's just looking a bit stupid, basically stupefied by the whole process. Like he doesn't seem to be able to get his coordination. Now he's only got one arm. Um, I was just getting pelted with snowballs basically. I'm going to oh, to go mm. before him, and I'm going to hiss mentally to whoever is throwing a snowball. <laughs> they scatter, <laughs> they run, and they do, 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 run like off round the thing, giggling. And I help my son. Yeah, you clean off it. What were you thinking? <laughs> hmm. Just trying to have some, some fun, Miss Yarl. You were covered in snow, you could catch a cold. Mm. Well, Thankfully, doesn't to, catch um, these hands. Trying to, trying to uh, fit in, you know, trying to, I don't know, just having a go. They seem like to enjoy it. They were laughing. Where are you laughing? Was it funny for you? Um, he kind of looks a slightly shy, and it was quite fun. But, but like like you don't want him to have had fun, so he doesn't want to admit that he has had fun, but he had fun. <laughs> okay, go go play with them, but don't catch can a I, cold because I would be mad. Can I point out this is a fully grown man? And okay. <laughs> he's thick as pig shit. <laughs> yeah, he hasn't got very um, high wisdom, this fellow. Um, you uh, you gather around um, and Sin, you um, Murak, you sit down and um, you are proffered a bowl of uh, soup, but everybody is moving away from you guys. Most of the people are moving away from you guys, um, keeping a distance. Because it it's because we stink. Yeah. Uh, there is yeah. We were already stinking, but now. There, there are held noses, there are um, grimaces on faces as you enter the circle of halflings. Um, Certainly help get through the queue faster. Uh, um, maybe. You, uh, Sin, you see the wise woman. All right, I'm a slowly approacher and tap around. Oh, wait, how, she's a halfling, right? She's a halfling, yeah, and she sat down. Yeah. I'm going to sit right in front of her and, and ask and tell her, um, wow, we were down, <laughs> when we were down there, um, I got bit by some giant creature and, um, shortly after I haven't I haven't been feeling well. Is there anything you can do? Um, she cocks her. Uh, now, I think it's only Niala who knows they don't speak Coleman at the moment. I think everybody else found out. Uh, yeah, Sin found out, definitely. And Nan found out from Jilly. And Sin found out when Jilly and Nan were sorting out the animals. Arden has I found to out she's become yeah. Coleman and Celestial. Yeah, but... Um, uh, yeah, Arden, Arden has no either. Uh, so, yeah, Sin, uh, she turns her head to you uh, and says, and kind of says, puts her hands out and gestures to you, like for you to show her. 
No, I, I, the, I bite. Stick. the bite is. Oh on yeah, the bite. Where, on my shoulder, right? Yeah, your left shoulder. All right. I just like remove the cloning from there and show her. Um, she looks at it and she, uh, she sort of nods, and she says, uh, she, she indicates um, it's kind of symbol for coin, and then. Five. All right, I'll I'll give her five. Yep. <laughs> I'll give her five. I give what gold coins? Yeah. Right. That seems like a lot because if you think about it, like a copper is like one dollar, right? And like a gold is like a hundred. So <laughs> Look, she wants. Do you want to get healed or not? <laughs> like, yeah, but I'm just saying that seems like a lot. And when you buy like, a potion of healing, though, if you think about a potion of healing or an antidote, they're they're quite expensive to buy still. Yeah. But I can just make them, I'm good. But yeah, I, I handled the five gold. Okay, she um, uh, she uh, takes it and starts, moves over to a separate fire that's been sort of uh, just glowing embers and starts mixing uh, her herbs and stuff in the, uh, in, in a, in a, um, uh, in this pot. And you set, she gestures for you to wait where you are um, while she prepares this concoction. Uh, Nan, you're looking for Jilly. Um, I am. Jilly's around the fire. Just that easy to find. Okay, cool. Uh, hello, uh, Jilly. Thank you uh, for sheltering our um, f uh, friends uh, who who couldn't come down to this series with us. Sorry. Um, yeah, I uh, we don't smell great. Um, Please, uh, please have this. I'm gonna give her fifty gold from what I earned. Mm -hmm. You give him fifty gold. He's like fifty. He's like, that's hefty coin there. Yeah, thank you for everything that you've done for us. He's like, he, he looks at it like stunned, like you're crazy. He looks like absolutely. <laughs> Stunned at you, and he's you saved your life. Only what would be decent done to any decent book. Um, and he says, "Look, look here." Um, and he goes, he runs off to some packs and stuff. Um, and, and he pulls out of them all the uh, he pulls out of these packs. Like as I explained, they're kind of already very, very well padded but seem near bottomless as he pulls out stuff. And he's pulling out a load of uh, things and he pulls out all of the clothes that each of the people in the party, apart from Sin, was wearing mm. um, when they were riding the the, 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 ski, uh, the ski gear, the, the cold weather gear. And he mm. brings, that, oh. over. He brings okay. that over to you and says, look, that's easy enough to cover all of this give this to you and your friends and then if you get caught in the cold like your your big fellow of there did he was looking worse for him worse for him yeah. this will this will this will this will sort you through those cold times thank you and something uh to remember our time traveling with you um, um he actually he reaches in his coat as you say that he says that's a point. You should have something else. And he and he reaches in his coat and he pulls out um, a little uh, thick, uh, leather thong. And on the leather thong is a uh, a tooth of one of the creatures, the one on the screecher, like one of these flat molar type teeth. But they're, mm. they're, they're quite a large thing, so they, you can fit quite a lot on it. Um, and it's a it's a little carving, like almost a rendition of one of the stick figures from the wall that you saw back in the <coughs> camp. Thank you. Thank you. And he hands that to you. Oh, wow. Cool. Um, well, not, not cool. much of an artist, but um, uh, here. Oh, thank you. This is, I am not, I, I also am trying to be better at carving as well. I kind of try every now and then. This is lovely. I, I will. 
I will keep it safe and remember you all. Um, uh, also carrying all the clothes. Um, okay, uh, do, do you happen to know where we might, uh, I think, get washed up before the city or I'm not really sure. I don't want us hanging around your camp. <laughs> Maybe while we're unwashed. Um, Yeah, you can you can get clean. There's a there's ways. Okay. Um, uh, he goes over and speaks to the wise woman who's stirring the pot, and she says she kind of shoes him away and says, no, I'm, "Like I'm busy," kind of thing. And he says, "Okay," uh, and he says, "Come with me," and he takes you to um, through a lot of the campsite um, um, and says, "Leave the clothes here and pick them up in a minute," and you leave those in the circle. Uh, and he takes you to um, uh, a tent that has um, a more triangular shape, more like a teepee, uh, we would recognise it as, instead of one of these kind of dome things that you've been used to seeing most of the time, including the camp gear that you had down below um, and Arden's little uh, secret tent that he used uh, for uh, magic. Um, you move uh, away and there is an area... And you look at the tent and you see out of the top of it, there is steam pluming out of the top of this tent. And he says, in there. Uh, great. Um, perhaps I will inform my um, friends as well. Is Would that be okay? You're, you're welcome to use it, please. Because I, do, I don't know how quickly we'll be going through the gates with these tokens and perhaps. Mm -hmm. Anyway, thank you, Jilly. Um, how do you say good? Is there a special way that you say goodbye in, in your. Puts his hand up. <laughs> High five. <laughs> <laughs> right this time. Yes. <laughs> there is a... I, knew it was a, I knew it was a thing. <laughs> he puts his hand up and, he, and, and you get it perfect this time. Like you can do like a. <laughs> And he says, oh, you know that one too. Uh, and then uh, kind of- I just learned. Just learned, you did that all right. And he goes back off to his, uh, his camp and his family and, uh, and things. Um, I'm gonna, is everyone sort of dispersed various places? I think they yeah, maybe all, are. Kind of around the, uh, Niala's still trying to, is looking at Ed, shaking her head. Rook's mm -hmm. standing grumpily on the edge of the, of the thing. Uh, oh. Sin is uh, sat where the wise woman was. And Arden, I don't know where you are. Where are you? Oh, um, Arden was going to follow Nan over to see Jilly. Okay. Oh, are, you, are you not sorting out uh, 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 Darvel? Not yet. No, I was. Arden was going to go over to see Jilly because okay. he hasn't spoken to a single one of them yet. Okay, so you see Jilly all the way through this entire. Adventure. He hasn't seen, spoken to a single one. You see, um, returning, for, uh, you see Jilly lead off, Nan off, and you see Jilly returned. Um, hello. Uh, They'll tell you soon enough. I can speak common. Oh. Well, that makes a lot more sense. We just right. we just want to keep it. We like to keep our privacy, and we like to preserve the language. It's what the the the, the, mo the mother says we must do. So we all learn our tongue. We all learn common. Well, from someone who comes from somewhere that preservation is important, I I agree with her. A historian, are you? No, but there are certain things that we shouldn't forget. And so we should hold on to. Um, I don't know what you mean by that, but anyway, I hadn't spoken to any of you. I hadn't had chance to show my appreciation. Very well, um, your, your friend this. there certainly showed it. Um, how do you mean? Um, he taps at his leg with his uh, 
fashioned a pouch of gold to his leg. Okay. On his belt. Right. Well. The pile of clothes there, they're, they're yours. Oh. Well, I feel kind of silly now. I was coming over to do the same thing. Um, That's quite all right. But I still... You know, fool, I can tell by you, the, you, the look on you. And you didn't know that we, we spoke. But look, it's absolutely fine. Help yourself to the clothes. I've just shown um, your, your friend the wash, the wash tent. If you want to go and uh, help yourself to that. Thank you. I can appreciate the fact that we stink like shit. Um, I, you do. Yes, I'm not here to butter any parsnips. Um, look, we appreciate the, what you've done for us. If we do find ourselves this side of Kansas again, which I hope to at some point, I do have fair travels ahead of us, but I will need to return at some point. If we wanted to employ your aid again, how would we reach you? You can message us. And how would the best way to message a roaming band such as yourselves be? You find one of the wizards in the in Kakansax. They'll seek us out and seek, normally mother they find and speak and they get her they send her the messages. Okay. Um, fine. We'll do that. Um, but thank you. Not a problem at all. But do get yourself cleaned up. I'll do that. Mm -hmm. Pardon, kind of. You know, I takes out a few more gold pieces and hands them out, hands them to Julie. Um, just ten. Um, I know you said you had enough, but. I just feel like this is something I should do. He says, I'll tell you what. Instead of you paying me that now, you get me a drink inside the gate. Say again, sorry? You get me a drink when you get inside the gate. <laughs> Are you coming inside the city? It's the dog. <laughs> come, come here. Come on. Arden come on. farting throughout this conversation. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it's just the dog pining yes, to get on the bed. The dog. Say hello. Say hello, you little shit. Um, Nan's gone. This is nettle. <laughs> um, uh, this is why you prefer cats. Um, he says, "Have me a drink when we're inside." Me Are drink. you coming in? You're coming inside the city. I thought you had to leave soon. Sorry. It looked like you were preparing to leave. I, I didn't realise you were coming inside the city. No, we set up a camp outside. A few of us go into trade and, and bid on the animals and trade with the creatures and the, the meat, the skins. Okay, well, uh, hopefully I'll see you in a bar somewhere. Yeah. You better, right. you better um, get, in, get queuing as soon as you can, really. You want to be there for the, you know, when it happens. When what happens? Well, the peak of the festival. Oh. We're gonna have a festival at Big Heart. And I was hoping to get out of here quite quickly. There's no hiding this from the rest of them, is there? What do you think all of this is? It gestures around the masses of people in the camp that is joined around Kansax. This is like medieval Glastonbury. Oh. Thanks for the heads up. Um, see you inside. Hey. Uh, reaches out of hand. Uh, I'd rather not. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, 
Later. Uh, and and, and, and he walks off. And, and then Arden just that, walks off. <laughs> He realises that uh, he high five Nan and licks his hand. And so Nan, you're outside this. Um, uh, you're outside this tent with steam pluming out of the top of it. Mm. Um. Cool. Well. Uh, so. Clothes are somewhere safe. Don't need to worry about those. With the circle of halflings. Okay, cool. Um, who got the most gross? I, I'm, I'm gonna probably tell most people, but I, Rook seemed super Rook. Rook. So, Rook. and unwell. Because so I'm gonna... Sin washed us, yeah. if you remember correctly, a bit. Yeah. Arden but... went for a swim, so. He went up that ladder, didn't they? So he had to have a swim to get there. Oh, yeah. And Rook got fully us. drenched. Yeah, and, I, and I also watched us caught right before we left to, like, to try to clean oh, us up a bit. I kind of want to scrub my armor and stuff like that. And I know Rook, Rook has lots of armor, right? No, you took it off. I took it off. You took it off. Mm -hmm. Because so I'm arm. a big boy now. <laughs> um, you okay. don't need armor anymore? Nope. AC of 18 with no armor. That's slightly terrifying. But then again, I'm it's... a monk. I never needed armor. So you've just managed to catch up. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> okay. So you um, you uh, walk over to Rook, who is standing looking with a, with like a gaze that can murder every single one of these halflings. Oh, dear. Rook um... is not in a good mood. He is tired and poisoned. Oh, my DM's crashed. Um, Arden's just gonna go over to Darvel and gather Darvel. Darvel just... says, "These people are fascinating." No, that's not, that's not his voice, is it? Hold on. <laughs> um, these people are fascinating, Arden. <laughs> Living all their time on the ice floes, they live. A life of simple things. They don't know of words and books very much, but they are so happy, Arden. Such joy. I hear it around me. Yes, well. Should we get you into the city somewhere warmer, get you that bath that you wanted? That would be unbelievably kind of you, Arden. Right, well, let's get in the queue. I don't plan on being out here for any moment longer than we need to be. All right, um, so, um, Nan, you're standing near. Mm. Um, there is a place to... Uh, you uh, had a bad time in the sewers. There, there's a place to get washed up if you want to. Um, I'm, uh, I'm aware. I'm no, hoping. She's oh, I'm Rook. <laughs> oh, to Rook. Oh, I thought she was yeah. saying to me. Sorry. No. Nope. Sorry. Me, bitch. You're next in line. It's <laughs> going um, methodically through. Well, I was smell. planning on using the smell to help clear the queue a little bit to get to the front. If it's if it's any different to you, I'm I'm going to wait until we get sat down while these halflings have been very kind to us and. Um, been more than generous enough. I I feel it, it it's it's not right to continue to not take advantage of them, but to you know what I mean, to kind of carry on exploiting their generosity. Mm. Well, yes, they may have offered. Um, I'm. Going to wait until I can get to a bathhouse in the Kansas. Plus, okay. the smell might clear the queue for us to get through. Okay. But thank you for letting me know. Generosity is a rare thing in the world. And it, yeah, I understand. Mm. I feel like sometimes when 
generosity is offered the one of the best things you can do is receive it um and then she's just gonna kind of <laughs> walk away <'cause laughs> I like that. um who's next uh yeah probably arden and darvel with darvel is pretty smelly she's basically just going to go to each person and be like arden this. informs him that he, he knows and that he's yeah. going to use his stank to get through the the crowd i'm um, a smelly smelly boy um soon um you are sat by the fire uh, near near the the wise woman and niala um you are kind of looking at ed like shaking your head and you are informed by nan that there is a bathhouse I am grabbing head. I am pulling him with like, where is the bath? This boy never the bath. This relationship is so weird. I'm so sorry, but it's cool. Um, and the uh, fact that you're using that little stuffed cat head <laughs> as Ed. I don't think there's a single normal relationship in this entire party. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Well, okay, so whoever is coming with, I'm head heading to the... Um, so you, uh, soon are you going or are you waiting with your wise woman? I'm waiting... Oh, um, you should wait, maybe uh, yeah, the time they... Yeah, I'm going to wait. Uh, because if you go there and uh, you wash it before it's cured, it's yeah, not going to be yeah. uh, washed after. Yeah, I'm... Uh... I'm uh, like let her because I, I I expect she's to clean up a bit when she does whatever she's gonna do. Mm -hmm. After that, I'm just go and like wash myself, clean my clothes, change into my traveler's clothes if I'm not. Mistaken. So basically, only the girls are going now with head. Yeah, so Ed, it is one um, of the girls. Ed and Nan and uh, Niala walk over to this tent, and you. Uh, you pull back the flap, and what you're pre presented with is a pit of water, basically, of of uh, like cut into the ice, mm. um, and the water is steaming, like the Blue Lagoon in Iceland. Um, make a, a perception <laughs> check. A hot Everyone. It's, it's, for, it's for sure a hot spring. Nine. Twenty-one. You oh, see wow. at the bottom of this um, pool, there is uh, a small, uh, uh, what looks like a stone, like an uh, like a an oval shaped oh. stone, and heat is. Uh, you, this is the source of the heat that's making this water bubble. Cool. So it is a beautiful thing. There is like a ledges all round, and you you um, uh, you can clean yourself in this place, and uh, you can wash your head. Oh, I can't uh, hear you anymore. Oh, sorry. Am I still there? Yep. Yeah. Oh. Uh, and yet, yeah, this is a place where you can wash. It is a deep enough pool to be submerged uh, underneath. If you were to kind of crouch your legs, it's deep enough to kind of. Literally, just kind of climb in like a like, like a like a hot spring or a jacuzzi, but this is not a natural formation. This is a uh, this is a formed of this enchanted pebble that seems to be at the bottom of the pool, uh, emanating the heat. Um, so you get washed up in whichever way you wish to get cleaned and washed, and you are feeling rather sprightly. And uh, there's some time spent doing your armor while you're doing this. And are you scrubbing Ed? Is Ed getting a good scrub, Niala? I'm definitely not. <laughs> me and He's not are. scrubbing me, but I am washing him. Uh -huh. I <laughs> like. I can just imagine like Nan the other side of the pool, like trying to avert her eyes as 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 this uh, as this t Tabaxi vigorously scrubs this one-armed man. I just <laughs> want to add something while I'm doing this. <laughs> I'm going to re to uh, remember something. Oh, um, Nan, do you remember mm -hmm. when we met Head? Uh, why why we were killing uh, the skeleton of Arden um, people? Yes. Ed said you were pretty. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, I just got reminded of that before Rook ate what him. What about that situation reminded you of that? <laughs> <laughs> Just daydreaming. Just daydreaming. In the buff, I haven't a wash, I suppose. Um, okay. I don't know, really. I fine. Just be, probably quickly finishes and leaves. Yeah. <laughs> you you leave the you leave the tent trying to, uh, and you just see kind of Ed with a stupefied grin on his face as Nyala's. Like got, getting like her paws into like every crevice, <laughs> and, uh, and I'm going to rinse him, <laughs> throw it out, and just wash myself. Yeah. What about the, the talcum powder in a nappy, by any yeah. chance? Or... <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you return to the camp, and at this point, you see the little wise woman walking over to Sin. The Sin. Um, uh, she um, tears the rest of your, your shirt open um, and um, reveals... Kinky! The... She grabs handfuls of snow and packs it into the wound at first. Um, and it, hurts, it, it burns in your, in your arm um, and you grimace. But she holds her hands firm and she has this strength that you would not assume would come from this small character uh, just by the size of her frame and uh, and her demeanor uh, it is very misleading um as you pack the wound the, the heat that is coming off of this festering sore on your arm uh, actually melts the snow and you start seeing your arm run with this kind of green yellow ichor that starts dripping out of uh, out of these this otiug bite um she takes a salve from her kit and uh, it's like a thick paste and she actually almost feels the holes that are um in your arm from this bite mark with it packs it solid um then takes some leaves and binds those on lays those on top and they adhere to the the sort of putty that is now filling these gaps in your arms and she takes a length of uh, of uh, fabric like a hessian type thing and wraps that round your arm um, and you are now not in the condition of having that poison okay is it uh, the disease or is it just the poison uh I thought it was both disease and poison, because um, I take one D ten every twenty four hours. Yeah, yeah. So, um, no, I, don't have, I don't have to worry about that, right? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna have you make a con check, but this is gonna be like lower, so con save for me. So if you do that, do you want to do it now, and then we can just kind of cancel it off. Yeah, let's that. let's do it now. So she's giving you some sort of healing towards it. Right. So currently, hey, that, I'm running good tonight too. That's uh 19. Uh yeah, it's, it's out of your system. All right. And druid, druidic, druidic, Dru druidic. Yeah. Druidic. Yeah. How are you properly say it? I must say thank you. Then I might just go and take a shower and I'll I, clean. I, I think Druidic isn't actually like... I don't think it's a language. spoken language, is it? It's not, it's not a no? spoken thing. No, it's, a, it's more like... Um, the symbolic symbols. Can, symbols. I know that for a fact. Yeah, you, you can you can leave messages that only other Druids can understand. It's a bit like Thieves Cant. Like it's a, uh -huh. it, uh, although not spoken. So like Thieves Cant, you can leave messages in a similar... Druids can leave it in a similar way, but Thieves Cant is... No, Thieves Cant is vocal as far as I'm aware. And then, Thieves can, I think, is like there's coded messages and jargon with in normal, like sentence. common and under common speech. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then Thieves can also has like symbols and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. As a, as a written language. Yeah, and then a Druidic is kind of like where you would leave sticks in a certain way or a plant grown in a certain method, and that would indicate there are wolves this way or something like that. Um, uh, uh, so yeah, you you have hailed. Uh, uh, you are welcome to go and join the line. You are welcome now to 
sit down and enjoy some food with the halflings that's been proffered to you. Uh, it's up to you. Oh, can I um, ask her real quick if I could find someone who can like wash my clothes and armor while I go take a shower? Um, she says we only have the basic. Bit. She 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 as she doesn't like to speak out loud a lot, and she just kind of gestures towards Kanzax. Could you not All wash right. your armor in the bath? Well, I don't want to dirty the water, you know, and that's why we're taking a shower in. So by having a shower in it, you're not dirtying it? Well, yeah, but it's like the clothes are like a lot more dirty. Oh, my. You know what? I'm just going to wash my clothes in the shower. <laughs> I almost asked the same thing, but I think I just ended up. You yeah. want help? I'm still in the shower. Oh, no. no. You walk in, Sin, and you see this red raw Ed. Who's been oh, red is out. Red, uh, Ed is out. Yeah, I'm Ed, still in because I didn't wash myself. Side. Ed is standing on the side of the of this sort of bath, looking very scrubbed and clean. Um, is it not terrifying? Huh? Is it like shocked or anything? Is he he's like, pro- whoa? He's probably loving it. He, he's he's just looking stupefied. He doesn't he doesn't look like he's understood a thing that's happened in the last couple of Two days weeks. like the last week or so he is <laughs> like on some weird roller coaster ride and um you're still not sure if the shock of having his arm pulled off has kind of got over him he's on a bad trip mm. um uh as you uh, all start to join the you get washed up and then it's up to you what you want to do next i want to find ketu there was a reason why I wanted to get clean before we went in the city. Because <laughs> I don't want a fox being put off by stinky me. Um, uh, Muruk, you find your armour uh, safely stowed by the halflings and are able to collect that. Um, Jilly gestures to everybody as you return from getting clean uh, that there is cold weather gear for the ones that didn't have it. Um, Arden didn't clean himself. No, he's staying stinky. And um, so there's these two stinking ones, and the rest of you are reasonably clean. You that you can get in in warm water, um, without any sort of the accoutrement of uh, soaps and um, things. Uh, and you join the line. Uh, the line moves reasonably fast as a, uh, as the um, night begins to draw in, um, and as you near again you start hearing that rhythmical sound through your feet. You hear that, feel that vibration through your feet. And then you are at the doors and you exchange your tokens and you're led into the in-between courtyard. And this place reverberates strangely. Um, Again, the rhythm pulsing louder and louder as you're in here. And you, the other gate is revealed and open to you. And there is an explosion of colour and voices and song and music. There are bands playing on the side. There are trumpets and horns and people uh, bellowing, kind of yodelling along to the music. There are people swigging from flagons and ale. There is stalls all up alongside the main street that you walk into with people carrying great baskets full of exotic looking uh, powdered spice and chilies and there is fish uh, being carved and served and fed and pawn and people sitting on little stools along the edges there are uh, there's a smell of, of cooking meat and baking bread and all the inns up the side have the doors flung wide open and each one you hear merriment and voices uh, coming out of, of, of the of each doorway um, you see like uh, the entire city is uh, and, uh, the complete opposite of what you have been in—the cold outside, um, in in the in the waste proper. This is a hubbub of life and energy. There are uh, freshly um, cut meat joints being roasted on spits, and it is a, a, a cavalcade of glee as you walk into this space, um, and you are you kind of join the flow. And they're kind of swept up in this music and 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 bit merriment. Um, uh, and as you look around, you see um, 
there is little banners and signs up everywhere. And it's a, a large circle like this uh, with a black dot in the center of it. So it's a kind of different colored fabrics, but the same symbol on them all. So it's a, a black, a black sort of outline with a, a dot in the middle. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, there's a festival. Yeah, oh, we can shit. see that. Bloody tourists. Let's What's this point? I'm gonna like put a hood up and kind of cover himself up. You're doing your emo phase. No, it's it's <laughs> my I don't want to be noticed phase. Mm. So yeah. To... I just look look at everyone and and be like, we gotta find an in. For Murk, for Dowell, for Ed, and for you, Arden, because you four look like shit. I feel like finding a place with spare rooms is going to be difficult. Yeah. But the girls are fresh, so we're gonna, I'm going to help you. Nan, you know of a quiet little place. I do. Did, am I? Is there a reason that I couldn't go find... Ketu the fox, or is oh, sorry, Ketu. No, 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 no. So, um, <laughs> I just forgot to do it. So, um, Ketu, you notice as you're weaving in, and he's kind of slipped. She didn't like you, Ketu ran away. The behind you, and got into the in the center part. Sorry, he's uh, he's he's at your heel. Oh, okay, cool. Um, okay, then I won't do that because that doesn't make sense now. Um, put that drawing away. Um, show more chicken. <laughs> It's not a chicken. Can I see the drawing? I, yeah, you can see the drawing. Um, fun. <laughs> I was gonna like draw us going into the town with like a sad me. <laughs> I was. I just wanted to <clears throat> let Ketty know what was going on. Right. It's so cute. <laughs> I like this. I like this method of communicating. <laughs> with, with I haven't got to speak with animals. It's the only thing I can. Wait do. twenty minutes while I do an art form for you. <laughs> You 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 lose your way through, and um, uh, the um, yeah, you you know of the place now. Yes, um, if I've if I've got my if Ketu is like near me, I kind of want to get the little tooth that uh, Jilly gave me with the carving and kind of sh show it show it to Ketu and kind of like kind of I just I'm just very pleased that I got this and it's something yeah. that Keto sniffs it and kind of nudges under it like he's trying to scent it with his, mm -hmm. with his side of his uh, neck and then nudges it again cool. with his little little wet nose nice um I don't know if I have a fox in plushies oh I I mean We'll get there but I don't have a white I one. have a rat, I have a screw, I have more rats, <laughs> I have a anyway. kitty, I yeah, have so... bunnies. Oh yeah. Hey. This. I'm also gonna kind of hold my hand out a little bit as well, not with the tooth and see see if Ketu just, just this is like back in before you move into the market probably just lasers. This is a basket of <laughs> rabbits. Oh. That's creepy. <laughs> That's mm. weird. This is like, like a, a deep insight into Celia. Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> um, okay. Celia Rabbit Hands. Um, uh, yes, we. Uh, I know. Um, I think of a little carrot. I know a place I uh, stayed at before. We can try there. The yak's tongue. Um, I oh yeah, I have a bear. Away. It's worth a try. Um. Before we, like, well, before as we're making our way there, I presume Nan's going to lead the way. Arden's going to look around and see if there's any symbols anywhere that he recognises. Right, make a history check. While we're kind of walking towards the um, inn, Rook's going to be kind of like keeping our eyes out for like patrols and guards and whatnot. Mm -hmm. See like how, how frequent they are, how big in numbers they are. Um, Eight. Hey, Sin, this is you. A perception for... Um... 13. Uh, 13. Uh, you are a native of Froheft. You know what that symbol means. Okay. Um, the, the <laughs> um, 
uh, it is uh, to celebrate uh, a festival called Melora's Eye. Okay. Are there any other kind of other symbols that Arden might recognize? Um, it's, it's very busy. The street is full of people. You don't, uh, the, the part that you're in right now is just sort of like a large, uh, 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 it's quite narrow, but it's a long parade that weaves into the city. Um, you see that there are uh, sort of uh, side roads that jet off either way from this place, from the main street. Um, the rest of you stayed in the main street um, uh, on one of the hoods, uh, in one of the, the places here, one of the inns. Um, however, these look like they're going to be packed. Nan, however, did not stay near the center due to um, reasons and um, managed to find a little, a little place. Nice. So, so following now. What did you roll? Okay, Maruk. George. Natural twenty. Um, it's twenty-three. Uh, you you see the patrols are very well uh, organized. Mm -hmm. You see that they are on watch, but you also see that they are making a great deal of effort not to be imposing on the festival itself you see that they are there just to sort of keep order um while the festival's on um and to uh yeah just to keep you know keep the peace basically okay yeah there doesn't not... seem to be anyone actively searching or looking or anything like that yeah like even so i'm just kind of gonna keep away from the guards as best i can yeah, yeah you turn your head away and pull your hood up mm. tight around your 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 head and keep tucking your ears in making sure they're not mm. um, they're not sticking out from the, make me look as human as possible uh, the, the, yeah in, obviously i'm seven feet tall so that's a little bit hard but you see all manner of uh people in this space um you see um uh you see halflings you see humans uh one of the stranger things that you see with your perception of uh, of um, uh, 23 is um, you see a, a tall creature, yellow skin, uh, dark black hair, um, very, very long, elongated features, uh, and very tall, dressed in uh, sort of quite flowing garments um, with long sleeves, um, some sort of maybe possibly religious uh, garb. Mm -hmm. Do I know what kind of race this person is? Make me a nature. Tell me this, this is not Nasmar. A team? Uh, you're quite well traveled, so you would recognize this as a Githyang, uh, Githzerai. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Interesting. Never come across one before. But, uh, but Rook has. Yes. <laughs> I know what that is. Yeah. Um, uh, do, do you want me to give you some bit of blurb? No, um, I know it from like looking at the character creation thing on Beyond, but yeah. Cool. Uh, so, uh, yeah, you see this kind of creature like talking, uh, um, gesturing mostly. Um, uh, not really, not, you don't see it utter any uh, words or anything like that. Mm. Um, you see um, there are uh, orcish people, uh, maybe half orcs, maybe some true orcs as well, that are like doing a lot of the, the butchering work. Um, they're, they're, they're skewering up creatures and, mm. uh, and hanging them. Uh, there are, um, yeah, a few elves, but not many down this way. Um, they look quite out of place, like this amount of merriment. So they kind of look like the sort of high elves um, uh, uh, rather than the wood elves. They look like maybe dignitaries and officials okay. um, that are kind of enjoying Was it the taxi? Make a perception check. Hmm. Mm. 10. No tabaxi that you see. Um, I was going to ask whether there are any tieflings, but 
You can make a perception if you like. Uh, we're all looking for a thing. I mean, Muru could see Zero Tabaxi, no? With his training tree. <laughs> I'm not looking for them. I'm just looking for any anyone of, of interest. Um, uh, you see um, lots of people uh, of, of different uh, kins and, uh, and creeds, and you notice um, that there is a, um, a stall um, with a sort of uh, a purple... Uh, sheet uh, like a purple drapes around it mm -hmm. um, and there is um, sat at a, a a small table that is set back within the darkness of this place you see um, like a lot you see light pink skin but like not like human flesh but it's that almost like day glow stuff so you you see and then you see that there is a a large horn that kind of comes round out of the top but back round and almost underneath the chin mm -hmm. um but no hair completely bald cool and you, you assume that this is uh, um, a um a tiefling um nyala there are other there are places where you can uh get um what you're looking for but perhaps we can go there after and um, we have secured some rooms are you sure oh yeah sure i mean the boys need rest and we're pretty rested as girl because we wash and just you know take care of ourselves but yeah the boys look pretty tired so we should can... maybe just Leave them here, they're gonna be safe, and they they're big boys. And we just go on and just visit the city, try to see if we can find something for them, for everyone. I need my Arabs because, well, I am looking to, um, well, I want to have a familiar. I know the spell, but um, yeah, this is why I asked for the incense and all the little things. I, yeah. We will find that after we have secured our rooms. But I, I need a, beer, a brazier, a brass brazier, and okay. I don't think there is a lot around here. Okay, soon. Uh, as we're, as, as um, Nan is leading us, can I? See if we're passing by by any jewel like a jewelry store or a tailor. Uh, as you're walking through, um, uh, there are lots of different people selling lots of different things. This part looks like all part of this main street that you're on. Looks mm -hmm. like part of just basically this festival. This looks like a kind of central. Um, uh, thread through the city and then different parts shoot off either way um, to different quarters of the or sections of the city um, and uh, you look and you just see Nan kind of striding on ahead um, knowing where she's going and looking quite determined uh, to, to, to get rest. Um, uh, you have the choice to walk off on your own if you wish to or you want to um, follow Nan ahead. As the crowds uh, are thick and moving, I'll find the man. Okay, uh, you follow Nan through weaving streets, and eventually you uh, end up at the the inn that she just did, uh, suggested the yak's tongue, um, uh, and um, you uh, the, the doors are open. This is in a quiet portion of the city, quite a way away from the main the main street, as it as it were. Um, uh, and right. is, uh, in the section of the of the town that you know as to be the kind of hospitality part of uh, of Kukanzax, the kind of where there's there's lots of food shops and uh, sort of places that just do food and specialize in different cuisines and things like that. It's very metropolitan area kind of the town. There's smaller stalls, but the crowds here aren't so 
fever uh, aren't quite as loud and as kind of uh, in the celebratory mood. They're the ones that have had a bit too much of their main time and have moved away to this area of the town. Uh, and there um, you enter into the into the tavern and um, inside the axe tongue there is people sat by a fire they are eating drinking and just hanging out and just being cool in general and it's got quite a quiet atmosphere there is um a lute on stage next to a, a stool but no one playing at the moment just the players yes um Maybe the people that have bathed should do the talking. Um, I'm going <laughs> to head up to the, whoever the... While, while you're doing that, I'm going to go and uh, pick up the loot. Okay. Smelly, barbarian, bugbear. The loot. <laughs> In the loot. <laughs> Just because, fuck it, why not? Cool. Okay, so you, you walk over um, uh, uh, to the counter. There is no one at the counter at the current point. Uh, Maruk picks up this loot, which looks ridiculous in uh, Maruk's hands um, and claws, uh, and you attempt to play something. Um, the strings... Uh, can you make a performance check and see if you can get a tune? <laughs> Natural 20. Oh, <laughs> wow. my God. He's um, rocking it. it looks the two like rolls you, that I don't need. Stairway to heaven. It, it looks absolutely <laughs> ridiculous in his hands, but Maruk, um, Maruk, you um, start playing the, 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 the lute, and something kind of triggers in your head, and... Uh, Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh, oh, Mama told me. Uh, you you start singing the rhyme that you've, man. that you've heard before, and you 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 start singing the smile that hides the fiery moor, keeping secrets behind closed teeth till unlocked is the door. Sky did fall and things did crawl, black the other side of the ball. Charred and ash and warp things of peculiar fashion. Hold them back with towels we did, but still they snicked and slid. Go to bed, one, young ones, and shut those eyes tight, for nothing is more frightful than the fire burning in the forever night. Jesus. Rook's got problems. Ooh, got problems. <laughs> and, um, problems in me, for sure. This, this goes around a couple of times um, with varying chord progressions uh, upon the lute, and um, it is of melancholy, um, but also has that kind of that childlike rhyme to it. And the, some of the patrons turn their heads and nod as if recollecting something from long ago. And that's where we'll end the session for today. I cast all my duty to be an amplifier. <laughs> no. <laughs> it just becomes an electric.